to my friends welcome it's monday august 29th a sad summer day as you guys can see from the title what was the title where our channel may our channel may be erased our channel may be deleted yes before i bring that a shocking, terrible revelation. I am obligated to read this ad. So you'll have to wait 15 seconds. This back to school season, this is back to school season. Let HelloFresh handle dinner. Their quick and easy meals take the stress out of mealtime. Even on hectic weeknights, get 16 free meals across seven boxes with code H3TV16 at HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. We love HelloFresh, man. This is... Oh. Wait. Go back up. Oh, down, 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 down. Stop. Stop right there. Down. Stop. Oh, dang. Okay. Wow. That could be yours and more at HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. First of all, Zach is back. Welcome back, Zach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Although you may not have a job for long. Uh, clearly not. <laughs> AB was, did good. He did were, good. Yeah, he, well, you, you, were you watching when? I, w I was in and out. I saw the flock yeah. of shit. Um, yeah, the flock of thing kind of took on a life of its own. They did, yeah. Did you think the flock was funny or? Um, yeah, I did. I thought, I thought it was funny. Oh, that was good. Do you have any notes for AB? Not that it matters now. But <laughs> I'm just kind of curious, you know, in general, like a comprehensive analysis. Um, when 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 part of my job is, I like to view it as like music you, is like a you, bed. You, it's like the frame yeah. of the show. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I mean, you know, this is just constructive criticism. It's it's just there were Fuck! times <laughs> shit was very random. Yeah, it, yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> yes. Huh? But other than that, AB did a really good job, and I'm proud of him. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta say, pretty good, pretty nice comments from Zach, you know. Are you, are we gonna continue the flock of legacy, Zach? We'll see what happens if the time's right, you know. It's all about timing. It's up to you now. It's in, it's in your, <laughs> the flock is in your hands now. Yeah, right, right, or right. Did you, did you take some flock with you to your desk, AB? Not to my desk, no. Okay, so the flock is in Zach's hands. There's yeah, one. Fuck. Yeah. Who, so who played that? That was me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just got to know. There's one other thing I wanted to ask before I get to this horrible, horrible update. I just, I never asked you guys, but there's a stool in the bathroom under the toilet. Oh, I came back from Michigan. I've been wondering about something. that too. Yeah. yeah. Is it the squatty potty? Yeah. Is well, that you, Cam? No, it's not mine, but I noticed Who it. Who put a stool there? Sam, I see you grinning. Squatty potty gang. Ah. Oh, so you put a is. so that stool is your doing? Yes. And so what, you put your feet up and it makes things go easier? Yes, you're in the optimal <clears throat> position. Yeah, cuz I never I just I didn't even know why there's Your life either. will be different. I thought it was a segment I missed. It's kind of in the way cuz sometimes I pee, I'm well, going to pee well, and I was like the whole stool there. Right? Do you guys do the men agree? I Not only that, I I have to admit, I you pee I, on it. No, I know. <laughs> no, I noticed that it was there, and I, I gave it, I gave it a shot, and I, I, I did Let's not. Let's go. <laughs> well, hold, I didn't even know that's what it was because, for. Yeah. No, I knew what it was I, for, but I. Okay, so what do you think? I, I'm not a fan. You didn't. It didn't improve your experience. Even it didn't. You didn't like anything. Maybe, about maybe it. my legs are too long, but I found it to put me in an extremely like precarious position so it made things like i was like hmm, maybe it's not the right height for you i guess or something <laughs> I, I i'm willing to give it another chance if if i find one that's well, calibrated that, to my body but what did um, that mean that sam's feet were like super high uh like how high are your feet up sam when you're using that it's comfortable to me okay okay yeah. are your legs at like a at like a well parallel no, with the with the you know ground it puts or you like in a squat not like a. Are your knees elevated though, or are you like your legs, you know, perfect? Oh no no, like they're elevated a little degree. bit. I found it. Yeah. I was like, I, 
I can't even get into the position here. Like I was like rolled like halfway back. Like Dan, yeah, you don't know what good. he performance is like. I guess not. No. Cirque du Soleil. Uh, Ian, well, Ian, then if she, if this is a Sam thing, I'm sure you, you've been introduced to this probably. You have. I'm imagining you have one at home, of right? Of course. Dan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've used it. Are you squat gang? I use it. Yeah. Um, Flap those cheeks. I don't know if the performance is like that much more aerodynamic on the release. Um, I don't dislike it. It's fine. You kind of have like a good L shape. So I don't what know. It, what does it do for you that's so wonderful, Sam? You had to bring it I don't, to work. It just puts you in like perfect position. I don't know. Okay. I feel like it's it's helped me. I'm an IBS queen. Okay, okay. So okay. I think that it helped me personally. I don't know. Okay, all right. Sam, say, that's ours from home, right? Or did you order it? No, I, I have two. There's one here and there's one at home. <laughs> she had like a I'm particular bad like a meal bad day bad. and was like... I saw her running to the car with the squatty pot. She's like, I'm going to need this at the office today. Oh, wow. Good. Okay. You just never know, you know? Yeah, I mean, the only time I see a stool is, you know, so that Theodore can reach the toilet. So I, I didn't even know what to do with that. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try it next time. Give no. it a shot. I'm yeah. telling you. We have one. I at, got my parents one for Christmas. We have one at home, too. Uh, I'm, I, Chantal likes it. I'm not a fan of it. So it seems like the women love it. Yeah. So far. It's for the girls. Women Grumpy. love it. If we should make an HP <laughs> podcast Grumpy. branded uh, poop stool. I, I would it's... endorse that it's so hard. Teddy Fresh poop stool. Yes. One of the most successful uh, Shark Tank products is the squat. That was product. a Shark Tank product. Yeah, and it's like one of the most popular. Huh. Come out of it. What? It's just a stool. How can how do they how can you even like copyright that? Well, it's configured directly to you know fit nicely around the base of the toilet. If it was so a simple idea, why didn't you think of it, Ethan? Why didn't um, you think of it? Maybe I'll make my own. What are they going to sue me? That's what I said. If I make a Teddy Fresh Squatty <laughs> Potty, what are they going to do about it? Multiple brands make, I think like Tushy makes one. There's like a bunch of different brands. Tushy. Maybe even Dude Wipes. Maybe they have something similar too. I don't what know. What do we do about yeah, it? Yeah, because I, I won't use it unless it's branded for men. It's embarrassing otherwise. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so here's the lore. Bobby and Judy appeared on Shark Tank seeking an investment of 350000 for 5%. I mean, these people are out of their mind. Three fifty for 5% for a stool? 5 stool? You know everything. what's funny about that? You're making a stool while using the stool. Yeah. You see? That's like a Jordan Peterson revelation. What is the stool? The stool is what makes the stool. Now there's a definition. Thank you. No. Uh, Lori finally agreed to 350000 for 10%. What the fuck? I guess she made a good deal. I would have told that person, idiot to get lost. But I'd have been wrong. You'd have been wrong. Squatty potty, ladies and gentlemen. Did your parents like it when you, when you bought it for them? Yeah, it, it changed them. Wow. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe we didn't know about this. I'm telling you, wow. it's the best. You have These to, glasses you have, to try have changed my life. <laughs> wow welcome back zach thank you i don't i think ab the problem you had with the sound bites was just the systems he has over there is overwhelming if you're not familiar with that's part of it um yeah and he has them labeled really interesting a lot of them some it's, it's maybe intentional i don't know but yeah some of them were hard to find some of them I was goofing. You think a he bit, makes it uh, no, intentionally not, not confusing? No, not intentionally. It's just how my brain processes. It's definitely Joker brain. Yeah. Well, he's fast, man. Yeah, he's the goat. He's the best. You're, you're good. You're good though. You did a really good job. <laughs> hold on, hold on. After the show, Judy and Bobby sold the squatty potty for twelve point three million. What is going on? It's a plastic stool. Wow. It's wow. A, it's, a, it's, a piece it's so of much plastic. more than that. It's not just a stool. It's so much more than that. But it's like, it's not even a unique compare, co configuration. It's like, it's a stool, a small stool. A stool to make stool. It's not just a small stool. I don't know why you keep saying that. I it's can't believe you say Bring it out. Someone, bring, someone go grab it and let's look at it. Hold on. I mean, I'm serious. This, this is not a $12 million idea. The name alone it's is just worth $12 alone. million. Dollars. It's just a stool. I trust him. <laughs> I think you can too. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you, Noodle Soup says we're 134 million views away from a billion. That's actually insane. For oh, a billion views? Shit. Here's a 12.3 12, 12. million dollar idea. piece of plastic. 
See, that's not just a stool. Look at the shape. It's specifically formulated. Is, is this even the brand, though? It says Simple by Squatty. Oh, it is a Squatty Potty. This is the brand. Okay. That's well. the one. Test it out. Take a seat. Take a shit right now. <laughs> Live on the show. That little uh, ele elevation makes so, that big a difference. Th around I think that camera. your seat right now is a little higher than a toilet. Here, let me go. Let me go down a bit. So probably, probably around there. Maybe even a little <laughs> more. I'm not let quite me... sure. <laughs> Maybe my camera wasn't the best option. <laughs> when you didn't voyage, I'm shitting my pants. What well, do you do with your hands? Put them like this. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of formal. I don't know. I feel like I tend to lean forward, or I'll have my phone or something. Have your phone lean back? Yeah. This is as, this is as low as it goes. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, give it give it a shot later. Okay. I'm just I'm trying to picture myself. Do they have a wide one so I can open up? You ever hit? You ever straddle it like this, kind of on the edge? I don't personally, but I think you could. <laughs> it's just about the elevation. It doesn't matter if you straddle. Clap those cheeks. Fantastic. Okay, congratulations, Squatty Potty people. <laughs> Huge exit for Lori. I gotta go wash my hands because I'm sure there's pits on that thing. Uh, it's like right there, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. No, it's definitely covered in fecal matter and other various things. You guys want to see something cool? Matter. Uh, oh, yeah, show that. My tooth fell out before the show. Mm -hmm. my, my fake tooth that I had put in last week. Anyone got a dollar? Yeah, you I was eating. It under your pillow I was eating Chex Mix. Yeah, that's why I put it in here so I give it to the fairy. Was it the ride chip that took it out? <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I was trying to chew on the other side of my mouth and it just fell out. It was the ride chip. Well, we know a really good dentist. Um, his name's Crentis. Not what I was going no, for. No, his but... name is uh, Jimmy. <laughs> Doctor James Weiner oh, from James. Weiner. Um, Dentistry. <laughs> Wiener. Weiner. We're having fanfare. Shit. I laugh at all his jokes if he hooks it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta fly to Jersey, though. Yeah, you gotta fly to Jersey. Or maybe he can do it when he does Wally's. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to point out, I'm in excruciating pain, but I love my job. And I'm here. And you couldn't get an appointment yeah. until tomorrow. <laughs> that, too. Not to sell you out. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Dan, the audio is clicking occasionally with peace and love. Yep. Um, sure is. Is that my mic? No. Okay. If it's I could give uh, you, uh, the USB card in our console uh, having slight digital audio snats every once in a while, and it's something that I have been trying to troubleshoot for about two months, and it won't stop. We don't know what it is. Well, I, I know what it is, but I don't know how to get it to stop. So, any uh, audio engineers out there with extensive experience with the Behringer X32 console with the USB card and its audio interface software for Windows, uh, please uh, reach out to me with what, any what? suggestions you may have. I, t I walk away for one minute. You guys are doing tech fucking mm -hmm. tech specs. You're losing them. Yeah, it's, okay. All right, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Prolapsed Penguin, for the 20... Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. All right, it's time that we address the title. I don't want to put this off anymore. Um, as you guys can read clearly, our channel may be deleted. As you guys know, we have one strike on our channel. If we get two more, channel's gone. If we get one more, we're gone for two weeks. And I think we lose a lot of other stuff. But it's sketchy. Yeah. Two, two strikes? It's dicey. Some say the diciest. Yeah, so I just want to say that today I want to announce that our strike is gone, bitches! Suck it, haters! Keep trying! L, L, L! This is what it- this is what happens when you fucking take the L's again and again and again and again. Keep trying. <laughs> Keep trying, bitch, because I got zero strikes. Zero! Yeah, fuck em. Haters, this one goes out to you. Fuck em. Yeah, fuck em. Zero strikes. 
good standing. Hey, hey, yo, you know what they should do to the NRA? Just kidding. I was going to... Just, just kidding. It's not funny. Just kidding. But we've got zero strikes. I can do whatever I want. Hey. Okay. And I'm not even going to lie. There was a couple moments during that strike. I thought we might be getting another one. But somehow we didn't. See you, okay, let's go. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Fucker. 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 Keep stars fucker. crying right now. Yeah. Fuck. Tater tots are crying right now. So much tears, it's breaking my heart. Woo! Zero strikes. Come on, put your hands in the air. Woo! Zero strikes. Come on, put your hands in the air. Suck it. Suck this tiny Jewish dick. Let's go. Put your hands in the air. doing it wrong <laughs> there we go baby it's gone so, we're free so why think again sunshine why, why is the <laughs> title our channel may be deleted then well that was true when now it's not anything could happen in the life anything could happen Dan. when are you going to come to I terms with that we could, we could lose our job security at any second dude you know this you almost lost your job dan you should be you should be happy right now up yours woke moralist you know what i got for you literally lying Still no not lying to his audience can someone at least fucking enlighten <laughs> ethan klein that he's literally <laughs> lying to his audience what the fuck what bro what would you record that shit, dude. <laughs> judas ass dan <laughs> The scorpion chair talking I, shit. I love that so much, dude. <laughs> wow. That feels good, man. I was stressed in those three months. That was a long three months. Yes, sir. I was scared. We're free. But we're free. And that's why we're going to do our best to get another strike today. But, you know, we got, we're good. I'm just saying, like, now's the time. I can go good, buck bro. wild. I could take a week off. Yeah, it's just a it's just a week off. It's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's time to go buck wild. Seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> so death threats or any or uh, threats of terrorism is all on the table. It's all on baby. the table, baby. It's all good. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Anyway, guys, yes, yes, it's a reason to celebrate. Um, but we got a great show here. We're gonna have a lot of fun, Zach. We got a little video from your show at the Viper Room? Yes. Okay, let's check it out. There will still be you and me. You're not playing copyrighted music? No, these are all my tunes. Okay. He's going to claim you, though. Oh, damn, son. The ghost of Hendrix is back. Hmm. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Yeah, why don't, you gotta get Jimmy Lee up there with you to MC that shit. I see Jimmy Lee on on stage inside of Zach in that moment. Dude, how are you guys? Hey, how we doing? Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. So the Viper Room's kind of a is that that's a big venue, right? I mean, is that that's it's a cool not place, big, right? It, but I, it's yeah. it's a very. Uh, famous venue. <coughs> very famous. We we packed big it. Deal. It was a good time. Uh, great opener. It was, everyone that came out, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, it was just overall a great time. You, there, your next show's at the Troubadour. Troubadour. Now, that's a big one, right? Troubadour. I don't know about it, but Dan, Dan says that that's a big deal, the Troubs. Troubadour, uh, January 13th. It's an all-ages show we're doing, mm -hmm. so um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Bring your kids. <laughs> <laughs> sure, bring your kids, yeah. Let's see, baby. Oh, and well, also, uh, we're also thinking about planning a live show here pretty soon. Uh huh. That's gonna be fun, man. It'll be a lot of fun. By uh, pretty soon, we mean um, probably this this winter, like near the end of this year. Oh, is it? But that, we're, is that? Yeah, I mean, we're we just. You got to start planning for it way in advance. We're, but. I've 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 I'm warming to the idea is what I mean because before we had one live show it was great. Everyone had a great time. It was super fun. I loved it, and um, I don't know why, but. We just never got around to planning another one, but we're going to do one in L.A. this winter. Do it live! Uh, so, moving on. 
I want to ask you guys a question, okay? I was supposed to do a photo shoot for Teddy Fresh to promote the Peanuts collab. And I'm afraid I kind of... Papa John commented on this? Dude, Papa John has the top post, bro. Papa Bless. Yo, Papa, we love you, Papa. <laughs> yeah, so I was supposed to do a, a post promoting the Peanuts drop, and I think I just kind of got lost in the concept. People keep telling me to work out, so I put on my new Teddy Fresh muscle tee and got to work. It's like, I don't think anyone's going to buy Peanuts from this. <laughs> I am. But did you guys like this? I wasn't sure. No, I thought this was great. That's was great. Hilarious. I'll okay, leave that cool. question up to you to answer. <laughs> yeah, so I was hitting the, um, obviously the weights, the treadmill, the Peloton. <laughs> I was doing, you can't see, but I was stretching my legs. I was doing leg lifts. Burned a lot of calories this day, actually. <laughs> you went for a run on the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this pic reminded me of like Rushmore when Bill Murray smoked. Oh, it. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so it was a good day. Burned a lot of calories. Okay, I'm glad you guys liked it. Apparently, it's also a promo for Teddy Fresh. <laughs> Here's another one we did on TikTok. I, this one, I was less sure. I was about to Why erase it. And what? Why do you work? I don't know if it's just a bad TikTok or, or if TikTok is like holds it for review. You know what I mean? What, is it not getting very many likes? Yeah, it just gets stuck at like, oh, 87,000. You know what I mean? TikTok is my Why do you work out? But here it is. I don't I don't know if this you guys like the sound I pick. Why do you work out? What? Why do you work out? To look cooler during sex. Not for health reasons. No, you gotta have sex and look cool at the same time. But you should work out because it, it's healthy for your heart. That's why. Live longer, have more cool than sex. But Looking cool during sex doesn't really matter. <laughs> you look cool <laughs> That's the part that you work out me. because it's it's why do you work out? It. <laughs> Dabbing off the sweat with the powder <laughs> Yeah, of course, I'm a bro. Savage, you gotta do it. I'm a savage. You gotta do it. <laughs> the Crocs walking side. Oh, well, there you go. There... Is also really, really, really good. Yeah, that was great. There's a little theory going around on Reddit about why you wanted to do this photo shoot. I sent it in Discord. You did. There's a theory. Yeah. Uh oh. I'll tell you guys if it's right right now. Did Ethan uh, post this just so he could eat a bunch of fast food? I'll have you know, hmm. the cigarettes I threw out, the fast food all hit the trash. Actually, I saved the meat and fed it to the dogs. Didn't touch this. I was good, man. I was good. I threw it all out. I was. You guys would have been proud of me. You off the ciggies completely now? Off the cigs. Really? Huh. Off the cigs! When did that happen? I mean, congrats. Ever since I started chewing nicotine gum. Oh, okay. That shit's like, changed me, bro. Alright. Like I used to come into the office and I would, and then I would see Zach and be like, "Yo, it's hard. It's like impossible to resist." I'd be like, "Yo, let's have a cig," but I chew a gum right before I get to the office, and I don't even, I don't even think about it. I smoke marijuana so I don't beat my <laughs> wife and children. And I said cigarettes, but I got you. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm off, I've been off cigs for a couple months, doing pretty good on my diet. There's just so much fat to burn; it's hard to notice any any weight movements but i've been trying i'm making an effort on everything you know I'm, i don't want to die oh you know what we did we took a bunch out and threw it out so it looked like i ate it you know what i mean sure yeah Michelle. was it me yeah you're just wasting food mm. yeah kid, starving children in kid, pakistan kids in africa would have eaten this chocolate cake do not waste that sweet milk <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think the kid, hungry kids would probably die if they ate a Big Mac. <laughs> I don't think their bodies could digest that. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> That's hardly food. That hardly qualifies as food. Oh, yeah, they're man. better off eating like fucking roots or some shit. And, mm, bark. Yeah, bark. Anyway, what do you, Cam? You could say that. Just talk to me, baby. Uh, you're doing great. Keep up the great work, dude. Thanks, bro. Yeah, um, what, which, what, are, what are you talking about, though? Which on, part? On your diet and exercise. You're doing a great job, and I hope you make, wish you continued success on it. I didn't want to sound like a simp on air, but now I'm being... Did you notice that I lost weight, or are you just saying you that? Do, no, you do look thinner in those photos, and I, I did notice. Yeah. I agree. 
I never trust people when they tell me that. I well, I was doing it intentionally to be encouraging on the side here, but I, I did notice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You know what's um, a great workout is that Metaverse helmet. I got one of those myself over the, the weekend. Oh, oh. That's a workout. What were you doing in the Metaverse? Uh, Beat Saber. It's like a uh, guitar oh, hero with like, yeah, yeah. sabers. It was... That I could definitely see winding you. Yeah. There's also like exercise games on the on the oh, headset yeah. too. If you ever want to. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should get one for home. It's just so cool. You don't have to set up an area. Yeah. No. It's it's awesome. In our small apartment, we we have enough room for it. Also, speaking of the metaverse, that was a huge hit. You guys seemed to love that bit, which was very fun. So, I guess we got to keep doing metaverse gags. Well, I got another one on the way, so we'll have two. Um, Somebody had suggested, I guess in a YouTube comment, that we yeah. use a second unit as sort of a camera person. Such a good so, idea. Which is a great idea. So I ordered another one. It's coming in a few days. Uh, so our, gonna... our first one technically is still banned until Friday. So uh, maybe... It's good that we have alt so that we can yeah. ban evade yeah. the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have a second oh, one so IP that uh, we can get a third person shot. You can see my avatar. Yeah, I got mine right here too. Yeah, but yours is uh, a one, so I know, you can't uh, join us. L, L, L. Well, we can play older games together if you guys want to. You know what's, you know what's fucked up? When we first were looking into the uh, Horizon, you know, Zucks game, mm -hmm. uh, on their website, it said it was for the Oculus and Oculus Two, because mm -hmm. I think originally it was, um, but it still says that on the website, and it goes so far as letting you download the app and everything on. Uh, on Cam's thing, mm -hmm. and then you load up the app, so it launches, and you get to the menu, and it's like, oh, you need the Oculus 2 for this. You need the Oculus 2 to play that shit? Yeah. yeah. It's Which like, is, that's like basic, like, why? It's bullshit. It's so that you is buy the new felt? one. Bro, that's some why. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, the Zuck, I feel man. like it can definitely handle Yeah, it's the, it not yeah. advanced you, at yeah. all. Yeah. It's so basic. A fucking TI, one of those TI calculators could run yeah, yeah, that's goofy. But yeah, they hadn't even updated their website to, to indicate that. So on Meta's own website, it said you could use the original Oculus. Two. Well, we're, we'll plan more. It'll be, it'll be fun, yeah. Um, <clears throat> House of the Dragon, episode two. I, I feel like we can't really talk about it without spoiling. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bad I guess so. season ever! <laughs> it's already starting to lose me a little bit, though. By episode two. It seems the consensus is that people did a lot. So, so a lot of people saying they liked it more than the first episode. Did you watch it? Uh, liked it more than no. The first? I didn't get a chance to watch it yet tonight. I will. I, I it didn't lose me, but it was there was a moment where I was a little like, "Here we go, really? Here we go, really?" Anyone else? Shame. Nobody watched me and Dan are the only ones on, on the shit. I I I've never watched Game of Thrones. Never. That's so Zach of you. I just... My bad, so we're not Zach. nerds. Uh, just kidding, I want to start Game of Thrones. Wait, what? I said, our, our bad, we're not nerds. Oh, you haven't watched it either? No, but I am going to start Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'll follow up on my promise. Not that big of a deal. Should watch Lord of the Rings first. That's Friday. That I'm, that I'm excited for. J uh, Jimmy Lee posted this. Check out Jimmy Lee's like off the rails, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's been shit posting on Instagram, but this one definitely caught my eye. Audio. Wait, what happened? No post yet? What happened, Jimmy? Oh, there, there. Like, he's just been so off the rails. Look at this shit. When you're stoned at your minimum wage kitchen job and you see Jimmy Lee walk in with the camera crew. <laughs> Dude, his man is just, look at this shit. Uh, this gave me a cackle. Welcome to Jimmy Mole. Jimmy Mole Crossing. <laughs> With me and Ela in it, and Jimmy with the absolutely blown out lighting. I want to speak to Mason. I'm more, I'm now officially more interested in Jimmy's social media manager. I want, and I wonder how much he's paying him for this. Here, exactly. Here's the thing, though. There's people more and more sending him these memes. So it, it's not just Mason, I don't think, right now. It's multiple people. I see. This is a whole thing take. Yeah. Um. Well, let, check this one out. My Italian ass hates Keemstar. He, his dates could be his daughters? Not very slamming. Ugly, too. In my professional dentist opinion, bad teeth, too. <laughs> this is the same fucking photo of himself. Now, too. I don't condone that message. I think Camestar is 
perfectly fine the way he is. He's beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. He's beautiful like everyone's beautiful. Inside and out. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be clear. Because some people, some people, times they say everybody's beautiful in their own way. Mm -hmm. He's beautiful in that way. Not in any other way. Sorry. He's beautiful in his own particular way. Yeah, and like the snowflake, every snowflake's unique <laughs> kind of way. Mm -hmm. But not in any other way. I just want to make clear. Sorry. Sorry. Why is, um... Beautiful. Is that... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, uh, <laughs> on stage left? What, Jim? On stage left? <laughs> it's no, Ethan it's Bradbury. Bradbury. Ethan Bradbury. Oh, yeah, he's, he's not very slamming. What's he doing there? Because oh, he's, he's Italian. Oh, we just needed allies with Wait, him? who's Italian? I don't think Jimmy's Jimmy's not Italian. Italian. I don't think he's, he's Italian. Italian. Yeah, wait. <laughs> well, Nobody here is Italian. He, Ethan Bradbury likes to pretend he's Italian. That's... Ethan Bradbury's not even Italian? No. Oh, no, come on, dude. He's like Palestinian. <laughs> he's Arab. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't know that. Yeah. But, hey, uh, forget about it, huh? Ethan, <laughs> you come to me. Do you know my children are 7% Italian? I'm so small in the chair. <laughs> Hold it. You come to me with these memes. Kiss my Italian ass. I want to check. Whose ass is Italian? Maybe your girlfriend's. I hope Mason's Italian at least. Mason, are you Italian? It's a, it's a disgrace to come here and appropriate my culture. The Italians, we have a unique culture and identity. We are a race of people. I will not stand this Italianophobia cultural appropriation, Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee. Jimmy. I don't know. He texted me something um, last week that made my jaw drop. Really? What? Uh, a, re <laughs> a request from him. Tell me. He, um... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just going to have to read it to you. Um, it, it has to do with his merch. It has to do with what? His, his, his merch. Okay. He, he wanted us to take a picture in his shirts, mm -hmm. post it to our personal Instagrams. Like my main one? Yeah. And then on the podcast one. He wants us to plug him big time. We owe him big time. We owe him everything. He, he didn't even send enough shirts for all of us. So he <laughs> us to buy That's it. awesome, bro. My, my jaw drop? Read it, read it. Okay, hold on. Jimmy, he, he, yo, he's hustling, man. You gotta ask. I, I, you know, the grind don't stop. You gotta ask. Um, if you don't ask, you never know. He's all, Zach, can I, ask a, can I ask favor of you? I'm like, what's up? He's all, this would greatly help me. Could the crew wear t-shirts I sent and take an image, put them on your Instagram, and also send to me and put on mine. It can help me on sales we have coming. Jimmy, oh. what do you even need merch sales for? And I'm like, so have you, a Rolls Royce, bro. So I'm like, you want us to promo the shirts? He's all, please. And put <laughs> on our personal Instagram? Dude, there, how many of us are there? There's like 10 of us total. Right. Ethan and Hila. He sent us five shirts. <laughs> If, and he wants us, and then he wants like us to all put them on hundreds of thousands what, we of gotta, dollars like, of pass promotion. Them back and forth the five shirts if, that he sent us. If you're comfortable with that, your call on Instagrams you have and H31. If you're comfortable, dude, I love that, Jimmy. If you don't ask, you never know. No, it's true. But <laughs> my jaw dropped. I'm like, if we maybe we should do it. If he fixes my tooth, I'll, I'll wear his shirt. <laughs> the biggest marketing campaign we've ever done. Oh, that Jimmy's. Promo. Let me see Billboard? Jimmy's uh, merch store. I, I'm actually curious. I'm not. Holding. I'm not trying to get anyone to spend money on this. Just to be clear, I just want to know what kind of merch I'd be. I'd be promoting in this hypothetical marketing blitzkrieg. Yep. Here. A truly oh. Jimmy Ware. Jimmy Ware. Yo, is this, <laughs> I wonder. If, yo, who doesn't want an audio, audio, audio shirt? To a beautiful New York backdrop. Audio. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> Jimmy, this is this is so interesting. Better call Jimmy. He's got this whole better call Saul versus Jimmy Lee campaign going this on. This shirt's right fire. I have hey. histrionic personality design. We're hey, having to me real quick. This fanfare. Yo, Kev's got it. Did you buy that or was that no, sent to this us? This is one of the ones he sent to us. You want the other? Options over there. Anyone else want to wear one for That's Jimmy? That's the best one. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Fanfare. Did they? Did he sign them for us or anything? No. 
I think they're just print on demand. Watch the latest episode. What is this? This is his whole. He's got these new campaigns where he goes against people. So like Jimmy versus oh, Saul Goodman. Good claims. Yeah. Okay, so so guys, um, I don't waste your money on this, please. Buy Teddy Fresh. Yeah, buy Teddy Fresh. <laughs> if I were to buy one, that would definitely be this one. If I were to buy one, it'd be the purple one, I think. You want that purple one? Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. I have histrionic person. That's like his new catchphrase. I love that. You like this one? Just classic? Yeah. I think he sent one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, too. <laughs> Isn't it funny? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? His hair. <laughs> the posture. The hands. I'm just staring the hands. into the fucking <laughs> Oh, my God. Also, like, it's Photoshop poorly. That's yeah, so bad. He's oh made of wax. That oh is my goodness. so funny, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, this one's kind of fire. What do we think? Audio, audio, audio. <laughs> Zach was joking that he was going to wear that to his show. Yeah, that's what I was going to wear at the Viper Room. I'll, I saw really funny suggestions to put Jimmy Lee into the metaverse and do a set at the comedy club. I love that idea. <laughs> Does anyone else love that idea? Uh, think about it logistically, though. How do we get him in there? <laughs> his kids could do it. His kids are slick. They're young yeah, they're young uh, bucks, slick with technology. Damn, what's that face? I feel like he would still manage to, I mean, even if they got him into it, you still have to manipulate the controls to, like, walk around. They just like, put him on stage, and he does the rest. He wouldn't know Come what to on, do. I, I, I think it's funny. The only thing is, I don't know how long he'd last in the metaverse. I feel like he'd get banned after, like, one joke. That's fine. That'd be great. He'd want to be with the live audience. He wouldn't give a shit about. This is live. This is but... live of the future. Let's do a poll because there seems to be mm. some conflict in uh, opinions. <laughs> Should we get Jimmy to do a set in the metaverse? Now he's gonna have to buy his own headset. If he won't even like send his shirt. <laughs> he won't even send his fucking shirts. Come on, this is a big opportunity for him. Jimmy's going to buy his own headset. It's not that bad. It's like 400 bucks. Now, I'm voting yes, obviously. I'm a fan of the idea. And I promise I'm not going to get offended by his... I mean, I will be offended, but I can't, you know. 70% want to see this, guys. Get your votes in, because your votes matter. This is a democracy here at the HV Podcast. Hold it. What about the last vote? Where we said no more Jimmy. Yeah. And <laughs> Once a year. And that one I don't think he won. I don't think. Yes, it did. Once oh. a year one. They changed. They, they, every, this is a recount, man. Okay. This is a, a new referendum. Also, he's not there physically. There's a barrier, right? He's in the mm -hmm. first a little bit. People seem to want it. I mean, dude, it's such a funny idea. You guys know it is. He'll be. Can we have him like do dentistry in VR? That'd be fun. <laughs> Interesting. I thought Jimmy once every six months we had a deal. Yeah, so so maybe that we'll just give him an early credit. <laughs> Get out Text of Text him, see if he's interested, Zach, if he's not already watching. He's gonna ask me a million questions about <laughs> what the fuck is a metaphor. That's a segment on its own, just Zach helping him with that. I would actually like to record that call yeah. and listen back to it. I'll message him. Thank you. Also, uh Howie's back on TikTok destroying people's <laughs> This is what for life you was like. pages. Um, Thank God. What is this? I've Ow. seen this before. I think they're like, I think they're like spitting out their stomach or something. I remember re re learning about this fish. Does anyone have any intel on this? This is what life was like before COVID. You can't do any of the fun stuff anymore. Remember? Or is that a worm? This is what life. Dude, Fowey, fucking shame on you, bro. That is so messed up. That's disturbing me more oh. than the prolapse. It was like before COVID. You can't do any of the fun stuff anymore. Remember? Howie, this... stop it. Nothing. Why are you doing this? Did Howie really think we forgot? <laughs> is the top comment. What do we do about it? Howard, I still don't see an apology for that video. Yes, that video. Please address the video. Nothing. Um, okay, we found out it's a monster fish eel meal. 
Um, That's not the important part of the link that was just sent. It's not? Yeah, the important but part is that it's fake. The bizarre video features two dead fish. A video shows two monster fish exchanging an eel meal. Miscaptioned. Okay. Passing an eel meal from one's mouth to the other has widely circulated on social media. Viewers be warned, the following video is weird, possibly disturbing, and just all around gross. Okay. An Indian-based YouTuber posted it. Yeah, there's been a lot of drama surrounding these kind of videos. Because they like, they like do weird shit with live animals that they capture and they fake, fake it being natural. Bro, uh, I've, seen, yeah. I've seen people like on TikTok and YouTube. I don't know how these channels are allowed to do it. But it's like fake animal rescue where they obviously put the animal in this perilous uh, position. Yeah. It's just horrific. I just, I just can't stand it, man. You know the videos where they like fish, fish, uh, fish yes. with coke and shit. Yes, that's all like fake. They bury yes. a live fish. It's all it's fake. It's all fucked up. It's all yeah, fake it's and up. it's all animal torture. Yep. So it's just a hoax. Using dead animals, Howie. Do you see what you're doing? This you're, is all far. This is Howie. <sighs> Shame on you, Howard. Nothing. People are saying Dawn in the metaverse. Now we're, we're talking. Talk now we're talking. That's okay. a way better idea. I think she'd be so cute in the metaverse. She'd go up to people and be like, hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Let me tell you about butterflies. <laughs> Maybe we could put her on stage at a stand-up and just do an info. Info on butterflies. Yeah, just to educate people. <laughs> is, but is this COVID related? Uh, and if so, what do we do about what it? What do we do about it? Ow. Wow. Also, this is super exciting. Um, Martin made a video about me and Ela. This is we made a Martin date and approved naturally. Yo, we we had a date night and we got bottled uh, sparkling water, and they gave us this water. This was the best part of the meal, called Forella sparkling water, naturally carbonated water. And I was like, Yo, Martin was gonna love this shit, and he did, you guys. This is Martin approved naturally carbonated. Hello everybody, here's Martin, your personal water from Ethan. What a nice water. Uh -huh. And I'm so happy that you enjoyed Farrell natural occurring bubbles with a TDS of 1,285 from Italy. Great choice. Oh, Cheers, yeah. my friends. And remember everybody, water is not just... I'll, I'm not going to lie, I love that water. That water was interesting. It was different, dude. Naturally carbonated? How's that even possible? Thank you, I've Martin. I've been chugging the water. Yeah, but also Martin's in a bit of controversy, I actually. This is really interesting. Someone is trying to expose him on TikTok. Is, that how, is this fucking blow your mind or what? Um, This guy, Christopher Torres. Look at this. It's a full-on exposed video on uh, Martin. Water Smolia exposed. Tap water once filtered. Is Respect it serious? Yeah, yeah. Look, check it out. What? Well, Martin's taking it serious. He thinks it's a hit job from some water company. <laughs> I'm it's serious. Impossible. I'm I'm dead serious, dude. Coming for fucking Don't even know that water has a TDS level. That stands for total dissolved solids. How many minerals actually combine in a water? And there is no pure water. And I I go always crazy when people are saying. Oh yeah, water needs to be pure, and then you're calling suddenly it purified water. And no, no, it is the best you can drink because pure it needs to be pure. That doesn't come from other nature; it's a processed, uh, processed food. This kind of bottled water where it belongs is the trash can I trash it. Big and water is coming water for has him. Way more electrolytes than every single purified water. So I have to choose between purified and Alitep. I would go for Alitep. So that apparently, um, Don't even know. that's what he's getting called out for. He goes, yo, exposing water, Smollier Martin. He said he'd rather drink L.A. tap over bottled water. So that, that was the whole video. That's it, Smollier. man. He they didn't come with any receipts about like L.A. tap water, why it would be bad. Well, Martin responded to it. Um, that was a terrible exposed video. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of, I was like, hmm, kind of got him there. Got him. How did he get him? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I love <laughs> the just water. He said wars. he would rather drink the LA tap water than Dasani or whatever. I just love the idea. I think the, I'd uh, agree. Yeah, I mean, his point was, was well made, you know. But I love that uh, there's water sommelier wars. And listen, he has a whole conspiracy about it. I'll just, let's listen mm, to what he if I have to choose between Purified and LA Tap, I would go for LA Tap. Hold the horses. The Kangen <laughs> salespeople think they can expose me. Who's the Kang? Who's Kangen? I, yeah, because he called them out. Kangen salespeople are coming for him, he says. Yo, Big Water does not like Martin. I'll be honest with you. Kangen Water Purifier. Smart Water has their stock price half since Martin's been speaking out against them. Interesting. <laughs> Kangen water, alkalized ionic water, kind of. Oh, shit. that's just the name of water, Kangen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Kangen people are coming for Martin. What are we gonna do about it? By saying that I said I would prefer Ali Tap over purified water. Guess what, my friends? I'm saying this since 15 years because I don't believe that you should go to a store and buy tap water, processed tap water, in a plastic bottle. And by the way. It's sommelier, not so whatever you try to say there. Cheers, my friends. And remember, water is not just water. Dude, right. dishing out. Martin wow. absolutely dispatched these haters. Clap back. Absolutely. Fucking hell. What a guy. People saying, wait, people are calling the Kagan thing a L MLM. It's a water multi-level pyramid scheme. What? How do you, how do you MLM <laughs> wait, water? There's a bunch of people saying this, so wait. Wait. Kangen MLM. What? Dude, what? Kangen water is scam. MLM or pyramid scheme. Look at this. How do you... Damn, that's crazy, bro. Water. Pyramid scheme. That's incredible, There's man. A post about on um, anti-MLM, a subreddit. Pull it up. Scamming people. Oh, I'm just. All right, whatever. Ionized alkaline water Damn. is a wealthy person's MLM. It is like most MLM based on bullshit pseudoscience, preying on people with health issues. Wow. Okay. This isn't my first rodeo. Well, do they make like crazy health claims about it? Well, here. How do here's, you spell it? Here's a uh, a totally impartial debunking. Kagan water pyramid <laughs> MLM or scam? It is not a pyramid scheme. Says uh, KanganWater.com. 1412.com. Yeah. Um, so that seems pretty thoroughly debunked there. Kagan. Oh, it's a machine. Yep. Got so it. So you can retire better. <laughs> Wait, benefits. Let's see what kind of crazy ass claims they make. It helps clean the body. Okay. That's already sounds super. Well, that's legit. true of all water. I suppose that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Shout out water. It helps clean the body while providing balance to the immune system. Water? Kangen water also burns fat and fights against the effects of aging. Yo, how do they how do they claim this shit? That's like Well, if you don't have water, you'll age real quick. Age right into the grave. Right, you'll die. Yeah. Many people report that the daily use of this water also helps the digestive system. Are they literally call it a miracle? Our miracle water generator removes the impurities and chlorine from tap water. Well, that's 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 what all water filters do. Wow, that's so interesting. Martin opened up a whole nother world for me. The Kangen people. See how happy he is, man. If you bro, if you got some Kagan, you'd be smiling like this too. You know what that smile says? He's, it says, I've got $10,000 of Kagan in my garage that i got to sell to all my friends or I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got lots of time because thankfully he'll live forever thanks to this miracle water. Look at that. Yes, Kagan saved this man. <laughs> Whoa, that's so crazy, dude. <sighs> People are nuts, man. There it is. Wow. Well. I'd love to get. I'd love to talk to Martin and get the dirt on the Kagan people. Yeah. Um. Also, we have an update from the giant slide. I love all of these videos. This is the uh, out of control slide in Detroit that AB told us about. 
or we talked about anyway. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> home i wonder does anyone get really seriously injured they must be like broken i didn't see bones. anything i was but like there's got to be broken bones concussions <laughs> we got to get you down this slide Avery, I'll, do a, I'll do a weekend trip i'd do it we got to get your ass back to detroit man <laughs> I want to see your ass go down that. <laughs> I'll wear a GoPro too. Oh, fun. Okay, fun. <laughs> this is so interesting. The Spine Buster. Kind of a dope beat, that's true. I feel like you could sample that. I can try and flip it. Right. There's already a, a, a song about that. On the All right, let's get, slide. let's get to our first. We have a couple stories, main stories here. This Addison Wraith story is getting so weird, bro, with Young Gravy. We've talked about how her dad was macking on or dating. Well, I don't even remember a young like 18 year old or 20 year old or something 21. keemstar vibes right yes and um and then young gravy was making he's this rapper was making jokes about how he's interested in addison ray's mom and it's so hard to tell what's real what's not i personally thought the young gravy wanted to Sleep with mom's things was just a goof. But here he is bringing Addison Ray's mom to the VA, uh, VMAs as his date. And just what I mean. Uh, sorry, quick update. Pokimane's in chat. She said, ain't no way the channel's going to get deleted before I'm on. <laughs> Hell nah, girl. That's true. <laughs> no way, bro. We will not let that happen. We'll be very careful this week. Capiche? We will watch Ethan like a hawk. No death threats this week until until next week. I'll hold no up death all death threat. threats. We'll wait until you're on. Terroristic yeah. threats. And then death to the world. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, Pokey, what do you, what's your make on this? You think this shit's real or not? So here they are. <laughs> That wasn't actually the one that uh, freaked me out. It was this one of them kissing at the red carpet. I mean, I mean, has this just gone too far? <laughs> Addison Ray's mom is making out with Young Gravy at the VMAs. It's mommy makeout day. Her dad is running amok trying to pick up young girls, making that fucking insane video, challenging Young Gravy to a fight. Is Addison Ray's life really this fucked? Or is this all some weird, elaborate social ploy? I don't know. I think Addison, I hope that her friends are being extra nice to her right now. Okay, I have an update from Pokimane. Yeah. She said, I think Gravy is down to hit but doesn't want a relationship. Plus she makes, <laughs> oh, she likes the revenge it gets on her ex-husband. So Good Gravy's point. trying to hit and quit. Wokeyman. His mom. That's an interesting analysis. But like, you would think that this poor girl's parent, I mean, Christ, I mean, people, please, just fucking. Well, was there more to this? Why are they doing this to her? The the mom making out with young gravy was there was there more than just them? They were flirting, right? I mean, right. Olivia, you probably know best. Yes, um, they were. So, young gravy posted on his TikTok calling out for milfs, and Addison Ray's mother, uh, Sherry, responded. It was funny. It was cool. We uh, young gravy responded. It was funny. It was cool. Then Monty responded in a way that was dramatic and scary for the rest of the world and young gravy and Addison and Sherry, I'm sure. 
And then we've covered thus far. And so now they're on the carpet. It sounds like the, the dad is the real issue here. No, but uh. why would the mom? I mean, dude, you've already got one psycho parent, obviously, poor mm -hmm. Addison Ray, who's embarrassing her, bringing shame to the family. Now, why is the mom? Yeah. Got to go out and do this. Like, I'm sorry. It feels like she's like rubbing salt in like Addison's wound if there's a wound. It's just, but exactly. To us, think, it seems like there is. Think about the daughter, man. Yeah. I, I know you're trying to get some strange dick and young gravy. You're trying to get that gravy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gravy, baby. You like that gravy young. A lot of the chat agrees with Pokey, who said it's mutually beneficial, but not an actual relationship, you know? How, what does it really benefit the mom, though? I'm just confused. Like, I mean, she know it's gonna humiliate her daughter. It's yeah. just so wild. This Fuck is your the mom. first I've heard about her. I mean, I know about her now because it's. What you think she's trying to get clout? Her mom she's trying I mean, to yeah. parlay into. Well, a, I mean, look what it did I need for that their clout. daughter. Well, Addison doesn't follow either Monty or Sherry anymore. Wait, so uh, does Sherry have like a social media? Yeah. Presence? Oh my Give God. me that. I gotta yeah, see yeah, this. Yeah. I gotta see this. We watched I, her we TikTok of her it. doing the WAP. She I got, oh my God, please God, how are these people real? I gotta see this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta <laughs> see, send me Monty and Sherry's. God, I need that clout. Sher the what WAP has happened? When God, these people, what are they doing? When the WAP dance came out, that's when Sherry, like, I think a fan base broke out for her oh god here let me send it okay so here's oh god her okay i'm sorry this changes everything her mom is a big old oh fuck me in that tits bro 14 million followers yeah she's kind of she's an influencer in her own right it seems. okay it's this changes everything pages. this changes everything all of her tiktoks have like five million luscious fuck <laughs> Dude, she's MILF baiting. She's MILF baiting. <laughs> oh, here, here's one with Young Gravy. And Tana? Yes. Oh, shit. Can we listen to this one or no? It's a Gravy song. Okay. Oh, she's pretending to be upset. So there was some... Okay, I can see this being a goof between them now. Because yeah, that's funny. I didn't know that she was this this social media superstar. It was the kissing that I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. For real? It was just a peck, though, at the same time. But maybe, maybe, um, maybe Pokey's right. Maybe, she, maybe he's down to hit it and quit her mind. It quit and quit. Hey, guys. Mother of Christ. So let's see. Uh, here is, can we get some, no. Oh, it's just a family vlog? No, I don't want to watch that. Because they, they clickbaited me. Olivia sent the best one. That's the, uh, the WAP. Okay, here oh, it is. God. She broke the internet with this. I'll be honest, though, it is impressive, right, for an old lady? Or, I don't know how old, she probably in her... For, she's late like, 40s? She's 42. No, she's 42. Like, oh my god. She's like two years so, older than you, Ethan. She's 42? Yeah. See, I don't... She's 42? She's, she's doing her thing. I don't know. I, I don't really see this as being that bad. Like, wait, the wait, dad wait, is, a, dad. is embarrassing as fuck, but I haven't seen anything yet that but she, is dude, that bad. Am I crazy thinking she looks way older than me? Mm, yeah. Yeah, like, I think she uh, looks, looks way older than me. And I not no. to just no. not to not to shit not to shame her. She's beautiful, obviously. Hold that thought. Pokemon says, I do feel bad for Addison though, and Loki hope her and her mom at least have spoken about this. Agreed. Her dad seems too far gone. Yeah. It is I worry about that poor girl because she's you look, she's minding her own business. She's having she's like, Cool, I made it. I've got this great career. And then both of her parents want to get in the limelight and like take attention away from her. Yeah. Holy it reminds shit. Reminds me of uh, GP. GP, come yeah. at you. GP, come and I at remember, like, when she first started on TikTok, she so, like, so willingly had them in her videos. Like, right. she would just GP's dance up. with her family. They'd have fun. So it just, like, it makes me, I don't know if it, if it bothers her or not, but I feel bad if it does. GP coming at you.
Can you imagine if my parent? Well, my mom is trying to be an influencer. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I would lose my. If she did a WAP, maybe she'd get some followers. But right now, she just talks about butterflies. No, that's a segment. <laughs> Meta- <laughs> the WAP in the metaverse. <laughs> I don't think my mom could survive a WAP. She's got a pacemaker. Right. She. Yeah, but, oh, so, have so, Gary do it. Am I? Cra- I'm sorry to say this. I really, again, I don't mean any disrespect to her. But does she? Doesn't she look older than me? <sighs> Frank. I think she Frankly, looks super no. young looking. Yeah, old man. I don't. Yeah, if, if she was fifty, she's young looking, no. old man. And I'm sorry, I really don't mean to be offensive. I'm just shocked that she's. I I'll I say see this, what you mean. I'll say this she's in another way. Years, she's, you look very young for your. She's five. She, you know she's what? She's five years older than me. You're the she, first person that said ever said that. Maybe. Well, you do. It's just your hair. That's the only reason people say that. You think I look young for my age? Yeah, definitely. It's just your hair. That's 37? the only. Thirty-seven. You have now the you hairline like of, an a, of an eighteen-year-old. That's true. Wait, how old are you, AB? I'm 30. You look really young. I do look really young, though. Yeah, I I do. Look how youthful I look, guys. (laughs) Wait, so how old is Addison? (laughs) Just so you know, every time you look at that hairline, I want you to know, I pointed that out to you. What? That you have a godlike hairline. Wait, you, you think I didn't know that? Hairline? I, no, no, no. Whoa, it wasn't whoa, whoa, a thing. Whoa, whoa. Until you I think it. I didn't know that? You didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew I had a good hairline. You knew you had you good hair, young not and a good healthy. hairline. Maybe you created the meme. Not everyone's young and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So, so, I, I might. I don't. Again, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just. Maybe I. I'm wounded by by un- thinking that we're. She's like a dating range to me. Yeah. Like if I was I single, assumed, mm-hmm. I assumed she was fifty plus. I'm. That, that's what I don't want to be I, mean. I, I'm sorry, but I see what you mean, and yeah, I don't want to be. But mean obviously, she's either. beautiful and healthy, and God right. bless her. But everything, I just can't believe she's forty-two. That's crazy. So Addison's got to be like nineteen or something. And she's twenty-one. Twenty-one. So she had a real, real young. Sorry, beautiful. At, I guess at twenty-one, right? That's the only way this dude Monty became a, a dad. Monty's her stepdad. Oh, Monty's her stepdad? He, ve- ve- she was very young when they got married, but yes. That's stepdad energy? Stepdad energy. Is her dad out of the picture? You know a lot of Edison Ray Lore. She's hey. our tea expert. What's my, what's my job? Why is she yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, is here? So wait, I what's... consume everything. <laughs> so wait, the, da- the real dad is just gone? Or the biological dad, let's say? Where's your dad? I'm pretty positive. Yes. And then Monty came in. I think Monty, when she was four, I might have to double check that, but then Addison's brother is Monty's father. I mean, Addison's, whoa. (laughs) Addison's brother is Monty's son. Right. Yes. His, so she has a half brother. So it's pretty, they have a, they they were, they have a nuclear family. It's not really stepdad vibes. And then when did they get divorced? Who, Sherry and Monty? Yeah. Like a few months ago, I think. What the hell? Like very recently. Can we Young get Addison Ravy? on the show? I like, would love that. Can we please get Addison Ray on the show? Um, Gravy tweeted this morning, um, commenting on someone had reposted the video of them kissing, and he said, like, just let her live her single life. She's new and single and having fun. And who so tweet- that was the newest who break tweeted in that? that story. Gravy. Oh, Gravy. That's what I'm saying. Gravy. No, I, I, listen. Listen, I thought she was older. She's 42. Mm-hmm. Wait, p- p- give me some audio. But this is still her daughter's world. You know. Oh my God. In America, and I'm looking to make some whoopee, you feel me? I'm trying to butter the biscuit. Oh my God. People are saying Monty's her real dad, but that's not what I... I'm back in America. Wow, so this flirtation's been going on. Isn't isn't Monty's new girlfriend super young who, and she's like a major Ava drama? Louise. Yeah. Yeah, isn't she in so much drama too? She's the girl. That whole thing is super interesting. interesting. I I I'm seeing that it is her real dad. I, I guess the oh. mix up was that they they broke up at one point when they were younger and then remarried oh, again yes. to okay. each other. So Okay, so he is the real dad. Okay. He, he is the father. the father. Unfortunately. He's the father. I apologize. Yeah. So who's the... This is so much who's drama. The daddy? Okay, what first of all, do? Addison, you got to come on the show. We're the premier podcast. Go to the podcast tab on YouTube. You'll see it. Number, number one. one. First one there. First one there. Pops right up. 
This is the place to do it. Come on. <laughs> so, so tell me more about Monty's new girlfriend. She, um, she started the rumor that uh, Kanye and Jeffree Star were uh, hooking up, mm-hmm. which we talked about a long time ago. Yeah. She licked the toilet seat. April okay, 20. show me that. Give me that. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think you get banned for showing that one. I don't know. She was... She got in a lot of trouble, I think. You guys might remember this video. It was an influencer in a bathroom on an airplane, and she was licking the toilet seat. Why? Sh- to show that she wasn't afraid of COVID or something? Yep. She was on spring break. Ow. Yeah, cool. That's a challenge that somebody made up. Lick the toilet seat challenge? That's disgusting. Didn't and so she he's make the challenge? here, bro. What'd you say, uh, love? Didn't she even make the challenge? I, I, yeah, I, I, I think she was so the long. first and last person to do yeah. that challenge. And how old is <laughs> Monty? He's 46, according to Google. And wow. she is 25, I think I just saw. I will say some so. outlets call him her stepdad, so it's not just me. But huh. I guess. So we might have to switch up if, if that's wrong. Also, uh, we... Good. We have uh, in the doc screenshots that were shared, I guess Gravy and Ava were talking. And I think Gravy was interested in yeah. Ava Louise. And that is true, too. Yeah. Oh, we have like actual. Dude, this is so wild. <laughs> Here is uh, Monty responding. No shot, motherfucker. Monty's leaving comments on Instagram. Unbothered. Thank you, on Gravy, for taking the leftovers. This man is literally saying leftovers. You can't be serious. <laughs> this Good is the trashiest fucking dude that ever lived. This dude is a toilet seat. <laughs> WKM. I would rather spend time with my Wham. daughter and two grandkids than Sherry Nicole made me abandon. That Sherry Nicole made me abandon as a child in order to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. I would rather spend time with my daughter and two grandkids that Sherry Nicole made me abandon as a child in order to be with her. What? Wow. So Never let a woman to this. <laughs> Never let a woman make you choose between her and or your blood child. You know what, Dan? A, a, a MILF is like an onion. There's layers. A MILF is like an onion. <laughs> Bruh. That's true. I mean, they've been through a lot. That MILF game ain't, ain't easy, man. It's, it's not easy. That MILF game, there's a lot of landmines. Ethan. Yeah? This is a small side note. We should finish talking about this. Oh, but, shit. Here she is. But Martin is on standby. Oh my God! I'm texting with him. He said um, he's always there for us, and then he said family. <laughs> All right, so let me finish the segment. We'll talk about Addison, and then maybe we can loop back to Martin. I'd love to chat with Martin. All right. So wow, dude, and then Addison's just stuck in the middle. So she unfollowed them both. So it must really be affecting her, obviously. Um. Bruh, and then so Gravy responded. This was the video he made that was just super weird. <clears throat> you guys remember that, probably. I'm a grown man. I'm not going to fight you over TikTok drama. You got one of the most successful daughters in the world, and you decide to act half her age to try to get some attention while embarrassing your whole family. So grow up, get some help, and if we cross paths in real life, don't do anything stupid. This is real. I thought this shit was all shtick. This is fucking real beef. Yeah, bro. This is too much for me to deal with. Holy shit. I thought my parents were were annoying. <laughs> it's not easy. This is new levels, that shit. They just divorced like six months ago and all hell is breaking loose. Yeah. How do we get to Addison? We need her. Bestie Addison. We are all Addison's besties today. You can reach out, Olivia. <laughs> What's the best way to get a hold of her, I wonder? She's so, like, famous, though. It's hard, probably. I feel like you, probably, right? Just, 
I don't. DM her. She probably doesn't follow me. I'll, t- I'll th- we'll talk about it after the show. Try to yeah. figure out a way to do it. Here is Monty's new girlfriend. The coronavirus challenge. I'm not going to play it because it might get us in trouble. But let me just find the. This is his. Uh, well, you just played the most important part there. And well, there it is. <laughs> I, I had to show it. Is this COVID related? This is Monty's uh, dream boat. It's awesome. The chat is saying. It seems fun. Ask Tana for that Addison oh, Drake. Tana, of course. Your bestie. True. Just ask your bestie, Ooh. Tana. Ooh. Addison is in Israel? I la- I got Israel. Uh, uh, what are the connections? Wait, what's she doing in Israel? She, she's a singer and all that, right? Does she sing? The Jews? Yeah, singer, actress. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is a lot, guys. I don't know if I could. This, this, this. My head is spinning from this all being real. Gravy's been talking. Apparently, here's text messages that were shared. Who shared these? I believe it was Ava. She sent pictures of her and Monty together. Ava, is Ava her mom? No, oh, Ava is his current girlfriend, the, the toilet liquor. The toilet liquor, yeah. That's Ava. That's. Okay, wait. That's Mon- Monty's girlfriend is texting Gravy. They, I guess Gravy was interested in Ava. At some point in time. Pretty recently, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm in Hoboken, so like 10 minutes away. I'm around till Thursday, but tonight and Tuesday are free for me. Well, tonight around midnight, I'm free if you want to get dicked down. Is that what? Shout out Gravy. I guess at least he's straightforward, right? I mean. What a gentleman. If, would you prefer, ladies, ladies, would you prefer to be communicated directly with that or uh, beat around the bush? She, sorry, beating around the bush is what he was trying to do. She's in Israel. Her boyfriend is an Israeli record producer. Oh, shit. Yeah. She, her boyfriend probably got mob ties and shit. Probably a dangerous dude. Maybe don't say that if you're trying to get her to come on the show. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's going to. You, they're, they're, they're they're Israelis. Israelis. No, I don't think I'm, I love the Israelis. I lived there. Come on. I mean, uh, hey, Baruch Hashem. Baruch great, you know, Adonai. Uh, God, God <laughs> is great. <laughs> Baruch, <laughs> Baruch Adonai. All that shit. <laughs> you know, Baruch Hashem. Dick down tonight. I mean, I could tonight. Probably a little earlier Tuesday. Tonight, I'll get to my hotel around midnight. Got to be up at like eight, but I'll be Gucci. It goes on. I'm in LA, she says, flying back tonight, babe. What? What's, what the fuck? What's the time? Is this the next day? So she, she's with Monty while talking about sleeping with gravy. I'm not as familiar as the timeline, Zach. I assume, yes. Yeah. He, so, I, guys, what the fuck is this? She's a drama stir, man. Yeah. She just stirs the pot. And then she posted the text. So yeah. she's, she's just a lame-o. Yeah, she, she's notorious for starting shit. After oh, what the... makes you say that? <laughs> Did she look at the toilet seat? <laughs> no, she started the whole Jeffree Star Kanye rumors. That was oh, her. That's what, okay. yeah. yeah. There's a TikTok video that she posted after the Jeffree Star Kanye thing where she was like, it's not true. I wanted to be famous. And love that for her. Another honest queen. Dick down. <laughs> I wanted to be famous. I love the honesty. You're a dick rider. You're so wh- a dick sucker. That's amazing, though. I didn't know dick. people actually just are that straightforward. Are you trying to get dick down tonight? That's uh... a... <laughs> I like that. You know, he doesn't fully. He's like, yo, this, is, this is my intention. Yeah, he's, he's These are. This is my intention with yeah. you, right? I don't know. Hi. But you got to imagine yeah. he's texting like ten other girls that same shit. Right. I'm Dick Tip. You trying to get Dick down tonight, girl? Mmm. Imagine talking like that shit. Nobody, no woman would ever speak to me if I talked like that. <laughs> Young gravy. <laughs> it's good to be famous, I guess. 
If I ever texted a girl, you want you trying to get dick down tonight? I'd be blocked immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I would never speak to her again. I would never see her again. <laughs> Holy shit. So so now what's this? What is Monty's the who's this shit? That's a TikTok that Monty posted of them Lake or something kissing. Is that the girl? That's Ava Louis, yes. Oh my god, where are you, bro? Why are they in like a, a FEMA center? <laughs> <laughs> They're giving blood, man. Is he like the celebrity say. at this like high school? <laughs> thought, uh, hey, he's at, he's at the high school, man. <laughs> oh, boy. I cannot believe what I'm seeing, man. <laughs> this is really too much. Oh my god, you guys, this is a lot. You trying to get dick down that night, girl, or not? People in the chat saying, text Ela that right now and see what happens. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe, hopefully, Ela's not watching. You should all text your partners that. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, that's a, f well, Lena, unfortunately. Come on, man. You just, you just see me. Cover yours, Lena. Text <laughs> I'll come, just, everyone knows she's right no, there. No, there's, there's no down, there's no dick downing tonight. Her, her sister and her friend are staying with us, so. Yeah. It's a small apartment. So the apartment. logistics don't work. Small apartment. I get it. You guys, but wait, are you guys have a, your own room, right? No. No, they have oh, a studio. Fuck. Yep. You got a divider, so wait, what's though. what's the sleeping arrangement? We gave them our bed, yeah. and our couches both fold out to queen beds in the living room. They You're... probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to try I wouldn't recommend I will that. say they would. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke. Don't try that, please. It's your sister, for Christ's sake. Shame on you. It's disgusting. Shame. All right, I'm going to text you the... Are you ready? She's gonna know I'm fucking with her. Are you ready to get dicked? <laughs> Anyone else want to do this challenge with me? Are you ready to get dicked down tonight? Fuck! No! Fuck! Is that, did I say it right? Are you ready to get dicked yeah, down sure. tonight? Yeah. Alright, I'm messaging Ali right now. And if you want to put some like cheesy uh, emojis in there, with like the, the eggplant or the squirt. Yo, this I want to keep it as believable as possible. So, so true. Yeah, just clean. Are you ready to get dicked down tonight? To the point. She's next door. She'd probably come in here and be like, the fuck? <laughs> Are you okay? So you did it, Dan? Yeah, I just... Zach, you want to so take funny. the challenge? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is here, so that... Yeah, that one doesn't work either. Too. Mm -hmm. Shame. Cam, you got anyone? A lot of people in the chat you? saying they're texting their significant others. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of yeah, men. Feel about free to participate, to everybody. There's never been so many dick down texts sent at once. <laughs> the text heard around the world. No response from her. You're a dick rider. You're a dick sucker. Hop off my fucking dick. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I hear. I might not get a reply for a while. Uh... Hmm. This is going to be an interesting we'll experiment. Yeah. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> yeah. I'm praying for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah somebody, I just texted my husband. Keep ahead of that. Wait, so what does a woman say? Are you ready to get... I guess oh, dick down is the worst. Oh, she did? Yeah, let's see what she wrote. Oh, I got a response. <laughs> <laughs> she sent me... She sent me a gif of somebody looking suspiciously <laughs> with yeah. twisted eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's too She smart. knows. She knows something's up. Yeah, she knows. I'm waiting for <laughs> Ela. <sighs> All right. Someone said they sent it to their grandma. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Well, a pol a, my deepest condolences to Addison Ray. This whole thing is, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it on the internet. What, what's your thought on Young get Gravy getting tangled up in all this? Business-wise or morally? I mean, that, that's, his, that's his thing. He's like the MILF hunter. I think it's pretty genius. It's, yeah, I agree. He's not doing anything wrong. Right. He's doing everything right, I think. Like, even his, his early songs are about chasing MILFs, going after MILFs. Yep. And that's another thing, like, is, like, that's a funny shtick to have for a young guy. But yeah. is he really the MILF hunter? I think I don't know. I just not that old. I just hope when he's texting her, he's a little bit less upfront. Like, instead of, like... He'd be more polite. Yeah, like, honest. not get dicked down, but maybe perhaps I could spread your cheeks or something. 
and our <laughs> yeah. ma'am, may I please? Please sit on my face. Would you like take? Would you like to take a seat on my face tonight, darling? Huh. <laughs> uh, thank you, by the way, for the color or the Teddy Fresh uh, Squatty Potty stool. Oh, bone fork, legend. We're, we're going to be sending He's so those. fast. He is straight into production. Let me see, Hila. Where are you? Come on. Hello. I'll be like, hello. Are you ready to get down, dick down tonight? Yes or no? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? That was a whole journey. Here's another journey. Fousey tube, Keemstar's partner. Uh, Wait, before we go to another story, do you want to get Martin in here? Oh shit. He was standing by. Can we ask Martin what he thinks of Mills? No, no, let's not. It's just too far. He's too, he's, <laughs> keep it respectful. With I'm Martin. kidding. How keep it hello, AB. Yeah, funny. Yeah, funny, I forgot. AB. Forgot. Forgot. We have a oh, great respect. I, I'm not Jesus, supposed to make AB. jokes. Here. Shame on you. Bro. Keep it hello. What? Fuck, dude. You can make don't don't be the victim here. You can make jokes. Just don't don't say just, that shit about Martin. Yeah, make them be funny. Yeah, maybe. Fuck. He's a Somalier. Okay. Did Ela tell you no? She didn't respond yes. yet. No. I can't believe he has an O1 visa for water. It's crazy. It's like Oscars level uh, visa. You need an Oscars to get that visa. He is. He's, he really is an expert in his field. I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive. Um, so we are getting Martin on the phone. I want to talk about his water drama. Yo, did you just make this can? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. So we're going to be asking Martin about this water drama. Oh, Martin, the water sommelier. That's <laughs> a good, that I'm watching. The yeah, last Grant water sommelier. His whole style is like an avatar character too, you know? And he is the only water sommelier, so he is the last water sommelier. It's true. All right, uh, he's in the lobby. Let me uh, get him set so, up. For those of you who don't know, Martin is a water expert. We brought him on. I was very skeptical, and he changed all of us. The man is a genius. He's a real. He's the real deal. Martin, joining us today. Lovely to see you, Martin. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah, sure, I can hear you. Welcome. How are you? First of all, I just want you to know, Martin, that I speak for uh, me and everybody except AB here. That we have great reverence for you. Now, I don't know if you were watching, but AB was suggesting to say something very uncouth to you, and I just want you to know that I don't support that. What about do you want me to say? I he, want to he, know now. He, he wanted to ask you if you, if you, what do you think about MILFs? I like them. He likes Thank them. you. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Legend. Who doesn't enjoy some, you know, Thank some, you. some well-trained... Aged like fine Martin. wine. Beautiful lady. Like what? Like you? You don't? You want water that spent its time collecting minerals and gathering flavor, like a milk. Here we go. Here we go. I like it wet, you know. Okay, there it is. And there it is. So Martin, a lot's happening in your life. First of all, I is this a real? Is someone really trying to expose you on TikTok? What's going on it's there? Hilarious, God, I. It's for me the best thing ever. I love these Kangen people because they are the best ever. Of course, it's free content creation for me. They're making these crazy videos, and then I just have to literally like stitch them and make videos of them, and it's too much fun. It's too much fun. So, you, so, so the Kangen people, which we learned a bit about, it's like a multi-level marketing where they sell a machine that apparently creates some super water that like heals all your problems and Correct. so the Kagan people are really after you Martin oh yeah they love me and they are all they're trying their best and all every week I'm getting an email or like like an exposed video or something from them and then they're saying Martin is so wrong and he wants to sell you all this poison water and you're gonna be dead when you're drinking a carbonated water for example it is hilarious, guys. They are too much fun to make fun of. So you've been making lots of videos calling out the Kagan. The Ke Kagan? The Kegels? Kangan. Kangan. Yeah. yeah. The Kangan people. And so, wow. Oh, that's so interesting that you're in a, a water wars here at the moment. <laughs> but I think it's fun because, let's face it, there are so many people out there who believe that shit. 
So for me, it's very important to always go to the facts and the videos I'm doing then, I'm always sending them in my post, the links or the screenshots of the scientific facts actually. Because they're just saying some crazy shit without any claims. And I'm putting then obviously what I do and they debunk them, I'm putting the claims and right in my videos. They can really see what's going on. But funny that you just said this. Did you heard about the new show on Netflix, Selling the OC? Like yeah. selling, yeah. or selling the OC. Yeah. So this one girl said, who's on selling the OC, her name is Alessandra, said she's in another life, a water sommelier. What? And, and I don't know how many, how many texts I got now. Martin, did you saw this? Did you saw this saying she used to be a water sommelier, want to be a water sommelier? So I just posted literally for 10 minutes ago, a new video on Instagram and TikTok where I kind of like debunk her as a water sommelier. She's a fake oh, water sommelier? She lives in this shitty Kangen shit as well. Oh, what a oh, fucking liar. Oh. Kangen water sommelier? That's blasphemy, bro. What are we going to yeah, do about it? Exactly that I said that. So you should watch that. So said, someone pull it up. Oh, a bitch. my God. By the way, the water I had at the Italian restaurant was fantastic. It was oh very nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Micro bubbles, natural occurring. It's a natural occurring. It was so nice. Water. Awesome. It was so nice. We had two bottles of those. Mwah. The funny thing is, I watched that video and I said it to my wife because my wife actually runs the hotel where that restaurant is located. And oh, she oh, sent yeah, it over she, right oh. away to her manager. So that's great. I love that video. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's a really nice hotel. We, that was my first time at that, at the uh, Mateo's or Madeo's. Right. Yeah, Mondeo, yeah. So here is selling OC, a fake water sommelier. Now, Martin, are you ever concerned for your safety? You're messing with big water, and they might come for you. Like, they might follow you. They might think you're a threat. They might take you out, Martin. Yeah, look, I, I received already some legal letters from some big water companies, and really? it's always interesting and fun to get these kind of letters. But I have to say, I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the family. Uh, and I want mm -hmm. to expose this bullshit what you see on marketing and on the internet. And my wife is actually a little concerned because you never know. There are some crazy people out there. Big water is a uh, big business. But I feel okay. I, I will call you up when I need security. Yeah, definitely let me know. I don't want to. They're going to drown you in a pool of like uh, yeah. of smart water. I don't, don't, don't want to get waterboarded with that. Yeah, they're going to waterboard you with smart water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wor a, first, a fate worse than death. Okay, so here is this fake ass. Thank you. Let's see. I uh -oh. love water. I think I was a water sommelier in like another life. Huh? A water sommelier in another life. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Huh? But why are you using ice cubes and lemon in your water? Because the ice cubes are made of a different water, so they will water down the water with water and your slice of lemon will literally like neutralize all flavors out of maybe the water would have in the first place so we're against lemon and water i think like when you want to do it just for enjoyment do it but automatically ice cubes and lemon is absolutely no go in actually good restaurants they would never do that it'll destroy the water yeah, it's like when, you, when you're buying your bottle of Farrell, for example, what you did in the restaurant on Friday, and they put right away a lemon ice cubes in there, you will not taste anything out of this water anymore. So why even bring this over from Italy in the first place? That doesn't make sense. Right, that's true. I mean, we didn't have ice or lemon in our cups, you're right. That's more for like tap water, right, to mask the flavor yeah, of gross. Yeah, totally fine. Correct, but don't do it out. So she's a fraud. She doesn't know shit yeah. about water, in but other now, words. But now let's see what she's doing now. It's okay, let's see what you're up to. That's a no-go for a water sommelier. I actually have a water machine at home that is alkaline. Oh, please. Oxygenated. Ah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and micro clusters. Don't say I'm it. I'm not even sure what that means. But it apparently, like, keeps the molecules small. Yeah. So you don't bloat when you drink water. Okay. How is much she, is is she trying to sell Kagan machines right now? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's she's, the Kagan scam. She's doing her market, multi-market level MLM shit on the Netflix? Crazy. Whoa. around like six grand. So in my humble opinion, as your personal water sommelier, alkaline water doesn't make any sense for your body because everything what you're drinking will go acidic in your very highly acidic stomach. Second, oxygenated water, 
You are a fish. You cannot access ah. oxygen dissolved in water. That's complete <laughs> nonsense. And microclustered water is literally a term used in a water scan. Oh shoot! Interesting. People will splurge six grand on a handbag. Why can't I, you know, splurge yeah. six grand on? Is this an ad? I'm confused. Did Keegan pay them to put this in? It's like I have no clue. It's it crazy. It seems so but again, odd. That is the problem with multi-level marketing. So what Kangen does, and they are like very tricky. On the homepage of Kangen, they don't do any health claims, nothing. It's just this small distributors who are doing all this nonsense. So when somebody gets sued, they can always say, oh, it's just this person who tried to sell it, but it's not us as a company. It's so wrong. Yeah, it's Everything like a racket. It's, so it's, like, it's like mafia shit. Yeah. A lot of Dear Alexandra, I have a feeling you have been scammed by a multi-level marketing company who sold you an overpriced ionizing machine without any scientific backups. A water sommelier is doing exactly the opposite. A water sommelier will bring attention to this kind of scammers and will debunk them. So there's a long way to go, but hey, I'm happy to teach you and happy to showcase you how important water is, how valuable water is. And that we all need to start to rethink. It is interesting. You're the only guy out there. There's a huge water scam going on, and nobody's talking about it. You're the one guy who's taking the whole big water on. You're taking on the ocean, bro. Hey, somebody has to do it. Somebody asked, uh, what does Martin think of water filters like Brita? I think you said they're good, right, for tap water? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the reason. That's always my point. I'm not against purifying water at home. I am against to buy purified right. water in a fucking store. They're selling back the water to you. And they're glorifying tap water and selling it with a fake marketing story. And that is the real bullshit. Also, they says, have you ever heard of liquid death? I know you've spoke of it. You said it's a good water, right? Liquid death. Yeah, it's a great water yeah. from the Austrian Alps. It has a TDS of 170. It has way more electrolyte than a smart water and essential combined. Rory it's says, the mole, thank you for the dono, Rory. Thank you for the dono. The mole people have decided to find and destroy your enemies, Martin. So Rory says the mole people are on your side. Thank you. Where are you seated right now, Martin? What room Man. are you in? Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm in Spring Place. It's a private business club here in Beverly Hills. I run this because I cannot just live from water and love and mills. So I need to, I need to, I need to work here a little bit as well, huh? Wait, what? Is, what is that place? It's called Spring Place. It's a private business club in Beverly Hills. A private business, business club. club. What does that mean? It's like co-working space. It's kind of like a, oh. a like a hybrid of So House and WeWorks. Oh, 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 okay, okay, cool. That's your There's day a job. Restaurant attached and everything. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. It's a nice place. Nice. Wow. Well, there you go, guys. If you're uh, save your money on Keegan's and go rent a room from Martin's. Uh, what are you? What is it Neil called again? Neil yeah. From. yeah. Bring place. Bring bring place. By the way, on Saturday this week we had a big water tasting competition. I had to drink eighty different mineral waters in an hour. How many did you, you get cannot, right? You cannot believe I needed to go so badly to the restroom. I was like almost in pain after after eighty eighty waters. But wait. No, I didn't get them right or wrong. Like it was blind tasting and I gave them like scores. Oh, so I interesting. think what is really good and what is really not so good in, in a water from a taste perspective. So it's pretty cool. Was there so any... I found some really awesome new water. So I'm happy to bring them over next time you might be invite me to the show and I'm going to hydrate you again. Well, was there any surprising results from the blind taste test? There was one water from, Aus uh, no, from Austria. It's called Geisberg. Uh, I never heard about this water. I was blown away from a taste perspective. Mm, the mm. still water was super fruity. It was like, what the hell is this? And like everybody, we were like six different water sommeliers and we were all in this line and suddenly I was like, what the hell is this for a flavor? It was insane. Geisberg. I gave them 100 points. Geisberg. Geisberg water. Shout out Geisberg. All right, Martin, you, you, you do the good fight out there. Don't let these water uh, goons get to you, okay? We got Always your back. For you guys. We got your back. You just tell us who to drown. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. I got the water already ready for you. Yeah, so okay. Don't worry. All right. And we'll, we'll do him the pleasure. We'll, we'll drown him in natural spring water. We can do at least Absolutely. that for Absolutely. Yeah. We're doing it in style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Martin, do you, do you plan, when you pass away, are we throwing you in, are your ashes into a freshwater lake? Are you being cremated? Uh, do we have you know some what? water 
plants in the actually uh, when you actually, die? I just thought with my wife about it because you never know, huh? One day you never you know. Have, and and we decided when when she passed as well, and then all the money what maybe hopefully I still have, and I didn't drunk it by just water. I want to actually be put into the ocean, like ash into the ocean, and then all my financials goes to goes to Viva Con Aqua. It's a non-profit organization out of Germany for wow. water rights. So the ocean, right. back to the water from whence you came. Yeah. Burial at sea. All right, Martin. Just like Bin Laden. Just like Bin Laden. Thank you, Dan. What a what a nice what a nice thought from Dan. <laughs> You'll share yeah, a tomb with Bin Laden. Energy in the ocean, obviously. <laughs> He's got to balance it out. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Martin, we love you. Keep fighting the good fight, all right? Cheers, my and friend. fuck Kagans. Fuck Kagans. Yes. All right, take care. Thanks, Cheers. Martin. Bye-bye, guys. Love you. Martin, Dan. the man. Actually, I have a text from Ela. Oh. Uh-oh. So I said, are you ready to get dick down tonight? She said, why? And then a minute later, she said, what? But she said, W-U-T, like what? Sounds like she wasn't totally against it. No, she. I, well, I said, I should I respond and say, yep. I said, are you ready? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's gonna know. I said, and I'm putting in all caps. Are you ready? Are you ready <laughs> to uh, get uh, sick yeah. down tonight? Uh, so I, now uh, I, I'm re-emphasizing. I said, are you ready to get dick down tonight in all caps? Mm -hmm. mm. Exclamation Sex. question mark. Sex. So. Everyone's saying, dude, she's so ready. She's so into you, bro. <laughs> she's what? So Why? Into you, bro. <laughs> That's what they say when they're so ready. Yeah, yeah it, exactly. I said, did I? That they was say, what? Did I what? <laughs> I must say that I've had some post-coital regrets about that. It wasn't that no. Phrase. No, it wasn't no. It wasn't yes, though, either. <laughs> Correct. It was, uh... No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what a treat to have Martin call in. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Yep. Yeah. One of a kind, that guy. Great guy. He's a treasure. He really is. Um, Love is jealous of, of the visa he got, actually. Yes. Very. He, very he, jealous. It's, it is incredible. He got a visa for exceptional people. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's like one of a kind, yeah. Go ahead, look. Yeah, it's like Nobel Prize type shit. We talked to a lawyer, and she said, "Now nah, you can't get that visa only for uh, Oscar-winning actors, Nobel Prize uh, Top of the scientists. field shit. Yeah. You have to have, like, articles yeah. written about you. You have to be, like, oh, yeah. have public renown. International recognition. What about, a, what about a steamy? We could, give, we could issue love Wait. and honorary steamy this year, and then maybe he would qualify. Okay. Yeah, we should. We could probably engineer something to defraud the government. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like buy a, a couple articles. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Let's talk about SPL. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love, you're my office BFF, so you win that to me. That's one. Thank word you. For that, you. That's more important than the office account. BFF. Thank you. You get user one just for that, dude. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. Well, we we would need to manufacture some some achievement or something like that you uh discovered nra uh, we right could say, you yeah. know do you, you remember when they the college admission scandal they like photoshopped their daughter onto like a kayaker's face <laughs> yeah, yeah. A rowing like rug. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i am on, like on a real note though i'm so surprised it's so hard to get a visa holy moly yeah, yeah. it is it's always uh, for, to my understanding it's always been really hard to get a visa well, the, the yeah. most, most people just get married. Then it's easy, you know? Right, right, right. We have great laws cool. about, like, having kids here or automatically citizens. You get married. You can bring the whole family over. Right, yeah. Oh, you well. Know? So, I don't know. Are you, are you currently looking? I mean, I think marriage is a good route for you. <laughs> yeah? Uh, well, maybe, you know. You never know. I, I'm only looking for real love, of course. Dude. You should put on, you should lo Mama. log into Tinder, and then you can set mm. your your zip code to, like, LA, Oh, right? I see, yeah. You mm. like MILFs, love? <laughs> I mean, for a visa? Shit. She. You like GILF? Shit. For a visa, you know, anything mm. goes. I'm not gonna lie. A DILF? Olivia's a dilf? grandma was pretty down to clown. 
Mm, true. Same. True. True. I don't know if I could take it. We She's a treat. <laughs> we just got to try harder, buddy. There's always a way. Yeah. Just ask I'll any go. Israeli here. They're all fucking schemers. None of those guys yeah. came like legit. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Maybe man. Maybe I'll just go, no, go and win that Nobel Prize instead. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I've never met an Israeli except my my wife, who actually came here like the way you're supposed to come. Mm -hmm. So like, no, I, uh, I I I said that he worked for my business and he's my uncle and <laughs> I married someone. <laughs> it's all so shady, but I love it. Hey, there's a you you gotta you gotta find a way. What you gotta do? Get over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll I'll look into that. Thank you. Uh, the letter A gave a hundred dollars and said, "I will marry love for a visa, please." Can we get pictures? Can you we get info? Fit in the letter A. Get over here. Just A. A. I forgot to put the B. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Ten, uh, today was my first day teaching of the school year. If y'all had any words of advice, perspective, encouragement, it would mean the world. I followed the pod since I was a minimum wage worker at a gas station so your first day teaching bro whoa i don't know man I, it depends what grade you teach just don't let those little fuckers get to you dude you gotta hold your head up man <laughs> yeah you gotta hold your head up don't let them walk over maintain you. your integrity <laughs> and don't take any shit from your, those little your first day in there the best advice i can give is your first day you gotta take you gotta take one of the the bigger kids <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you just gotta beat the shit out of them in front of all the just other ones. Punch just kind of establish Square in the fucking Yeah, you can't you can't let the others know that you know you're weak. So no, you gotta let them know you're always a threat. Yeah, my um, my aunt is a uh, kindergarten teacher for uh, LAUSD, and I was talking to her a few days ago, and I'm like, you know, how's it going teaching kindergarten? She's all it's good except this one kid. This kid is like biting mm. children in the class, mm. and it, it's just, apparently it's just a nightmare to be dealing with. So. She tried biting. Yeah, I mean, she bit back. back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, don't know, but win. but yeah, just keep you know keep be yourself, bro. Just fucking. Just, and if you need to punch a kid, just do it, man. Just worry. Just make sure no one has those. They're recording it. Mm -hmm. Katie said, "I love. I was granted a O one and have a great lawyer. Now I'm an Emmy winner and upgraded to a green card. What, bro? Who's this? Katie Halliday has an Emmy. Who's that? Would be happy to try and help you out." Even oh, if it's shit. just a recommendation letter. Who is Katie? Oh, well, that's crazy. Wait, who is Katie Halliday? She says she's an Emmy. Yo, so this girl says, should I DM him on Instagram? My name is Eileen, and I'm willing and ready. That's Katie Halliday is a second, sound, sound engineer who worked on Stranger Things. Slay. What? This is this is legit. I mean, if that's unless there's another uh, Katie Halliday in the business. She won an Emmy. I found her Instagram. She follows oh, Eileen or, or, or uh, Katie. She follows us. Oh my what? God, dude! It's cool. Shout the fuck out! You're What's way up? too talented and successful to be watching this. Show. Way too bad. <laughs> what are you what doing, doing here? <laughs> you should be watching like uh, that's what with Jablonski. I'm always like, dude, you're way too All right. Yeah, this guy Jablonski. He's like a super accomplished uh, music. <gasps> you responded. Are you fucking kidding me? She said yes, Daddy. Yo! I swear Let's to God. Go. I love you, love. She said, yes, daddy. Okay. Woo! W, Ethan. W, Ethan. Yes, we daddy. We Ethan. Oh, my we God, bro. <laughs> Should I just Ethan. put crabs in the chat or what, Dan? How do you respond to that? Crabs? No, don't send crabs. <laughs> send, the, <laughs> send the squash emoji. Who is my daddy? Squash? Who is my the, daddy? Yeah, the, no, you should daddy. say she. To eggplant. Eggplant. Daddy. Eggplant, yeah. Oh yeah, let's kick it up a notch. I'm embarrassed. I don't even know how to handle Daddy. this energy now. <laughs> Daddy? Shit. Yes, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> gonna need a minute. <laughs> Thank you, duh. See some titties. There it is. There it is, oh, everyone. <laughs> she did it. She does not call me daddy for the record. Actually, she does, because we have kids, so she calls me dad, not daddy. Mm. And I call her mom. Come. Tonight is daddy. Tonight is daddy. Come. Come. 
What the fuck were we talking about before Ela uh, blew my love mind? Love a visa. Yo, that that so. Um, Mill. Great. Then we have an Emmy Award winner. Like she wants to help you love, and then there's another girl who's um, mm -hmm. who's trying to slide into your DMs. Aline. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, well, to give you guys a little bit more like inside info, uh, the reason I can't apply for a normal work visa is because I'm a plebeian. I have no education. I'm 21 years old. Uh, so apparently the government doesn't like that. Yeah, you're not elite enough. Fuck that. You're stuck, we tried, dude. We tried yeah. applying to to bring love over. We got a really good lawyer to bring him over on a work visa, but apparently I didn't know that. You need like a degree, mm -hmm. which was so fucking stupid. Here is you right. receiving a, Nobel is this Prize. an Academy or Nobel oh, Prize? Yeah. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Yeah, you and might Carl be able Gustav. to parlay this. Yeah. Into send this in. Yeah, this this send is in. proof. Yeah. That's the king of Sweden right there, bro. Right. Give him some fucking respect. <laughs> and Absolutely. He has articles. <laughs> I didn't recognize him at too. first because he's not wearing a hat. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now he has articles sense. as well. About his, uh, stuff? his Twitch stream that when he was farting. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's I mean, true. You have you have the fart thing now. Farted in front of police officers. That is officers. powerful. That, that actually. Powerful. That is. I don't know. If the, that is something. Uh, the that is something. Would look good on a feed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is something. It proves it he, wasn't yeah. actually an arrest He's to be the real pullover or whatever. Mm -hmm. Also, you do have. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Mm. You have yeah, a number. A... You had. It's not number no one anymore, sadly. Well, mm -hmm. we're working on it. Um, I mean, yeah, I think like th there's also this thing called a million dollar green card. I'm just putting that out there. Maybe we could crowdfund a million dollars. I don't know. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I was there, like... there... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, th there is uh, people have been telling me about it. There's a million dollar green card. So basically, if you have a million dollars, you that can can't like... be true. No, it's true. If you buy like a company uh, or you invest a million dollars, into a company, you you pretty much green get a green card, card for immigrant investors. Sure enough, this is what a, I'm you just need right to be now. rich. Your Man, immigration allows this, this allows for certain non-citizens who are employment-based immigrants to become lawful permanent residents. Get a, slash get a green card. Mm -hmm. uh, includes non-citizens who invested or are actively in the process of investing one million. Fifty thousand dollars is that extra fifty thousand that really gets you. Oh, One wow. million fifty thousand <laughs> in a new commercial enterprise that will benefit the U.S. economy and create a full time so positions. Oh, EB five. I've heard of this before. So, love, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do. I'll do a payroll. One million. Uh, <laughs> see, even <laughs> if I did that, I have to, I'd have to send you like over two million for you to actually have enough. Right. Mm -hmm. so, uh yeah. Isn't I that don't fucked know. up? I don't. I actually don't know how that works. Maybe though. In Sweden, there's zero gift tax, by the way. It's pretty cool. Just can for... I gift a million dollars, though? Because there's a limit here how much you can get. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to run that by my account. What do you guys think? I won't do... I'll just gift you every month. Give it to him in crypto. <laughs> evade, evade the banks. Mm. Tax-free, baby. Right. Yeah. Yeah, just Fuck. Give, give them a... We gotta make a crypto casino or Launder him a couple NFTs. Give him some board apes. That yeah. crypto shit. Well, there, there's a, a lot of different visas. I don't know. So Time confusing all this. All right. Well, we just need, we need to we need to get love a million bucks. There's that. That's on the <laughs> table. At least there's an option on the table. Yeah. We need to explore all options. It. Yeah. Right. Saudi Prince, you 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 in on this? Where are you at? You got a million? <laughs> a million? I I got I got like four. I I got some money saved up, so you don't need the whole mill. Mm -hmm. But like 99% of it pretty much. So I got some money saved up. Yeah. That's, that's something. Get yeah, your fucking helpful. ass up and work. Well, right. this this girl who's trying to slide in your DM, she donated 200, so she's obviously somewhat stacked. She's mm -hmm. pretty juiced up, I think. Yeah. Mm. Got to explore that option too. You get the rough. Juiced up. All right. So we'll work. We'll work on that. In the meantime, <laughs> this next story is uh, pretty interesting. Keemstar's bestie Fusi tube tastes like beef jerky. Um, it tastes like beef jerky. There was a big fight over the weekend where with KSI and a bunch of other people. Deji, KSI's little brother, who I like, I think he's a very sweet guy. I've talked to him, but he's lost like three fights in a row brutally. Mm -hmm. Actually, what's interesting is he fought Jake Paul first, and he made his ass bleed. 
yeah, from what I've seen, he has good power, which is he was, uh, it's always his stamina. He looks so good. Well, anyway. Yeah, he looked good yesterday. Didn't he look Part like, this he, he looked like a monster up yeah. there. He fought a Fusi, and he fucking annihilated Fusi tube. Uh, taste, I bet his fucking face tastes like beef jerky at the moment, or looks <laughs> like beef jerky anyway. People said Fusi spent, uh, more t mother fuck, you think you went white enough on this? <laughs> I felt ugly. There's something to be said for realistic shades. I felt on, worthless. On, on veneers. This is show muscle. This is real training, I guess, right? What do you think about that, AB? I, I look more like Deji than I did like Fousey, so yeah, I agree. People said, uh, yeah, that Fousey spent more time making progress videos than training. Fousey fought once before and famously his face was pulverized. He had to get like facial reconstruction mm -hmm. surgery. Yeah. Two surgeries or two? Two nose jobs. And After he put out a post day. saying, my doctor told me I can't fight because if my nose gets broken again, it can be really bad. Right. I felt ugly. But I'm sure his best friend and business <laughs> partner, Keemstar, was super worried about his health and be like, buddy, mm -hmm. do the right thing. You, you mm -hmm. don't need to step into the ring. I felt gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that one to drop. <laughs> 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 that is such a good fucking drop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, it was actually a good fight. Deji looked super good. I'm, I'm real happy for him. Not a, well, but on the other hand, good fight? I mean, it was good in that there were worse fights. Were there? I, I mean, uh, Fousey didn't really land anything, but there was worse fights. I mean, yeah. I remember we watched Fousey's original fight that, <laughs> several it, times. In he, the fight. He's better than that. I didn't really think he had improved. No, that dude, that, in that. that fight, he literally wouldn't. The guy was just punching him. In that, the he face. didn't. Have, his hands were like this with Deji. At yeah. least they were up. I mean, they were up, Before, but they were, they were like, just like this. it was just like wide. Well, open. I, didn't, I didn't get to watch the whole thing because I was busy all weekend. But the clips I saw, a lot of the fighters, including Fuzi, and I don't want to act like here's I'm, AB, I'm pro, the boxing expert. But I'm just saying, one of the like common amateur mistakes is when someone's going to hit you, your natural reaction is to reach out and move the hand. Like, okay. And that is like the biggest my coach would get so mad because when you do that you're open on all sides and I even see. in that picture Fuzzy's doing that you see his hand, he's pushing away uh yep or uh, above this one bitch wait above this photo hey hold on chat why are you guys talking about pride minute i didn't say it's pride minute because because the Fuzzy's. oh okay. shit yeah Fousey announced pride minute. i'll tell you guys when it's, <laughs> yeah, pride yeah, minute. it's not pride back minute. in the closet for real freaks <laughs> thank you gifted subs uh penguin uh i can't read the full name 50 gifted subs, thank you. Wow, what a legend. I think that is the Euler referring to uh, putting all the Eulers in chat up 50. for my... Like, they're they're going to gather and help me for my visa. Oilers? All the Eulers. Yes. Yeah, the so, oil barons. Oh, the oil barons. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple Eulers. Yeah. Uh, Penguin yeah. and Bella chime in. That's maybe if Penguin and Bella chime in. Uh, thank you for the gifted. 50 gifted subs. Oh, man, you guys are so nice. Gifted. Gifted. Want to show my gra uh, thank you, uh, Xavier. Want to show my gratitude for the entire podcast team. My girlfriend isn't doing well. And my mom is injured. Been hard without my entire support system, but you guys have kept my head on, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Love you, man. Xavier. We love you. Got it, Xavier. That's love correct. you, bro. So, anyway, he gets punched in the fucking face real hard many times, man. Knocked down. And um, I'll be I'll be honest. I, I thought that, I thought for sure Fusi was gonna win because he was just so shredded and he looked so fit. But the it man forgot to, to train how to box. Yeah, exactly. I listen. I didn't lift any weights for my fight. I mean, I wish I I did a little bit, but I don't know how it is at every other gym. But um, when I asked where the weights were, my coach told me your body is the weight. Yeah. And when I went in the other day, I went to go visit Wally. I told him I pulled my arm. He said, why, you lift, why were you lifting weights? What's wrong with push-ups? Like, I don't know if everyone's like that, but when I saw him that ripped, I'm like, he probably spent way too much time uh, just lifting weights rather than learning how to box. I think you're absolutely right, you know. But look at this, though. It's awesome. Um, 
Here he is afterward. Jesus Christ. I got, gay. So his he <laughs> stop. <laughs> his eye is completely shut. His nose is like three times bigger Certainly than its normal broken. size. And then this was a really great observation. We found out where they got their boxing logo from. Wow. So good. Right on, huh? You know, I feel bad for Fusi. I just it's just a shame that like somehow Keemstar has got his tendrils around him and it's like like Fusi, you're free yeah. of the Keemstar curse and now mm-hmm. look what's happening to your life again. I feel bad for him too. I've only seen Faze Banks ever like defend him before when he was having an episode saying he's having a manic episode, take it easy on him, and Keem's like, No, he, no, no, that's not what this is. Yeah. Oh. Yes, dude. Fusi said Keemstar made him wanna unalive himself. It's yeah. Just, I think with mm-hmm. Keemstar, people really get like this Stockholm syndrome, or I don't know if it's Stockholm syndrome, but they're so desperate for him to leave them alone that they'll they'll take anything, like being his friend, as like uh, you know to stop his harassment. He really is that <laughs> malicious. Chet saying Fuzzy's eyebrows look great though. Those that eyebrows are pretty interesting. That. Nice arch. Mm-hmm. But are the but those are painted on, right? No, they're not painted. They're just done. They might be tinted. I feel like those are darkened, dude. He, uh, he, I feel like the sweat mm, would have wiped. I come from a town where all the dudes do their eyebrows. We all, Didn't he, ta- he tattooed his head, though, right? Yeah, he, this is a fake hairline. Those are clean brows. Like, he definitely got them waxed. Or those are, yeah, yeah, for sure. Those are strong eyebrows, then, because yeah. that's a lot of canvas to work with. For real, yeah. a lot of real estate happening. Okay, player. It looks real good. I mean, like, this part where it's swollen, it really... It really didn't, it, yeah, it didn't, it didn't affect For the arch at all. I felt ugly. If anything, like it made the brow even better. A slate. Look at the way it raised that arch. It's like he's always so, curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything good came out of it, you look stunning. Stunning, so. stunning. Queen. Love, check your DMs. Shit. I'm coming in hot to battle Aline. For your hand and green card marriage, baby. This is from oh Carly, 50 bucks. I'm telling you, love, they're, 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 listen, you're a dreamboat. You're a little cutie pie. You're a dreamboat, man. Thank you, Don. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We Thank love you, love. Ethan. Let's get you out here, 90 Day Fiance shit. Hey, fr- uh, we can have our own shit. 90 Day Fiance. Just record everything, watch them fight. <laughs> hey. Watch their relationship fall apart. Yeah. Put me between your legs. <laughs> Ooh. Great content, huh? Thank Great you, content. Chloe. Thank it you would, it would be, dude. Dollars. Uh, this was Fusi after his last fight in 2020. We should all pick. Actually, he a looks just as love. bad. I think, I think he's really, really injured. Where's the post? He uh, here's the. He shared a post. Uh, yeah, here. He posted his thoughts on the fight. Look at him, man. Dude. Bro. Be jerky. Here he says, I was going to keep this private, but with all my current emotions, I'm going to just own it. The first time I boxed, my nose broke so bad it required two surgeries to fix. I had told myself I would never get in the ring again because of it. And then I made Keemstar. Just kidding, that's not in there. When this opportunity arose, I called the doc and asked him if it would be okay. He said, absolutely not. If you were to get hit again, the break will be even worse and cause problems. Because of how bad I wanted another chance for myself, I said, so be it. Well, ask and you shall receive. Just left the doc's office, sure enough, and it's broken and will require surgery this week. Looking in the mirror brings up so many mixed emotions. I have two options. One, complain, cry, mope, feel sorry for myself, sit and regret, blame others. You know blame others is Keemstar. Who else? Right? Who else? To, or to thank God, smile, and count my blessings. Well, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Right? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. It's time to start counting them blessings. Fusi, bro. The one time Deji goes beast mode, by the way. Yeah. Everyone was saying that one of them has to win, so. One of them got a dub at least. His chin was fine, though, from the beard. Stopped most of the impact. This poor man, dude. Holy smokes. Look how big his nose is. It's Keemstar's fault! Look at this shit! Anyway, Fusa, I hope you're okay and that, uh... 
Stupid bitch. You evaluate your friendships, quote unquote friendships in your life and uh, how they're influencing you. In it. I wish you would have vlogged him going to the doctor and being like, I did it. <laughs> He's like, I can tell, dude. You're fake. You know, like beef jerky. On that note, without going too deep into it, whenever you're, you're talking about Keem, and that Aiden Ross stream, he told Aiden, you should box. You'd be great at it. And the other guy's like, no, don't box. And Keem's like, yeah, I'm just lying. I just like to, I just like to start shit. Wow, you pulled up some weird deep shit. Yeah, I'm sure he did. He's like, Fousey, you're, you're a killer. You're going to kill him. That first part, you just didn't practice enough. Yeah, you'll be good. But my doctor said if I get punched in the nose again, I could die. Your doctor's a quack, bro. Listen to me. <laughs> Fuck doctors. Can't wait to report your death. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. Uh, moving on. I wonder if yeah, taking a few sips of beer would cure his nose. <laughs> Moving on, this story got me s giggling, bro. Um, <laughs> chat is saying, don't let Hassan near his eye hole. That's true, man. <laughs> <laughs> that eye hole's looking nice. <laughs> Katie, wow. A story came out about Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. She fired dancers based on their astrological sign. How fucking epic is that? Yeah, this well. is a new form of discrimination. Astrological discrimination. We must form. protect our... It's an ancient form of discrimination, actually. Was anyone really ever discriminated on the basis of birth sign? Or zodiac sign? Yeah, right. And as they should. <laughs> that just seems like the craziest fucking thing to actually... Oh my god, apparently, according to actress and dancer Heather Morris, who is known for her work on Glee, told a story about one of JLo's auditions where she asked if anyone in the room was a Virgo, and then asked them to leave. All Virgos, get out! Yeah, I mean Virgos, <laughs> of course. Isn't that fucking awesome? <laughs> it's so funny. It's so... The fuck out! What's, the, what's wrong with Virgos? Are they dicks? Oh, what's not wrong with them? Are they the worst? Yeah. They're the worst. And they're bad dancers. <laughs> they're bad dancers. <laughs> well, that, well, yeah, so that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> yeah, we need you Zodiac right, man. Are you a Virgo, Zach? Yeah. Can oh, you dance, what? Zach? You need to fucking leave. Get the fuck out. You need to leave, <laughs> bro. You were ba born under a bad star. The funny thing is, like, <laughs> I'm, born under a bad star. I'm like right on the cusp, too. Doesn't uh -oh. matter. The Virgos sky are Virgo. was fuck, ugly dude. when you were born. <laughs> Here, I, I typed bad things about Virgos. Yep. 15 bad traits about Virgos. They are perfectionists to a fault. Yep. They hold themselves to impossibly high standards. They may be overly Zach. critical. That sounds just like Zach. They may come across as tightly wound. Oh, yeah. They can be selective. They mm. can be discontent in life. Yep. They can be really bad at dancing. Yep. For reals. They, they can be shit on your lawn. <laughs> they don't advertise. They defecate in all kinds of different places. Their brains are jokerfied. Um, the list goes on. They hate CCR. <laughs> They're overly considerate. They're They're just such good people. It's so, <laughs> so Yeah, annoying. what the fuck? They are excessively independent. They sometimes feel good and then sometimes feel bad. Virgos yeah. sometimes are happy and sometimes yeah. sad. Yeah, for real. That is so true. Uh, so a Virgo real. can be annoyingly critical, fussy, pedantic, argumentative, complaining, anal retentive, and indecisive. Sounds Get like the Zach. fuck out, yep. Virgos. <laughs> Virgos. I don't think that stuff actually describes you at all, Zach. Get out! I'm, I'm throwing this whole astro you astrology thing into question. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, what do you um, mean? Mark Anthony, her ex-husband is a Virgo. I don't know if that has anything to do. Who's Virgo? That. Her ex-husband, Mark Anthony. Mm. Mark. Mark An Anthony, JLo's ex-husband. Oh, he's a. Oh, so she's just discriminating oh. against all Virgos. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. I think they were together for a whole decade. Maybe she realized, you know, they're just not she didn't compatible. Know her. She didn't, she didn't know his well birthday. Do you, <laughs> Lena, do you know if they had a really bad breakup, divorce? I don't think so. They share two kids, and even now, they, they seem to get along well. What's his name? 
Mark Anthony, who's mm -hmm. a famous singer. Isn't that like a name of like a fucking Greek, a Roman Mark, warrior? Didn't Marcus, he kill, kill, uh, Aurelius. No, you're right. Aurelius, he... leader of the armies of the north. This guy? Father to a mother child. Yeah, that's him. This motherfucker's a Virgo, child. huh? He just makes sense. Exude she should have known better. Virgo energy. This man looks like Steve Buscemi. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> he's like the uh, Latin <laughs> Steve like Buscemi. I don't know. Me fused right. with Steve Buscemi for some reason. <laughs> the eyes. Okay. Shout out Mark Anthony. Not bad for a fucking Virgo. We're brothers in arms, my friend. Uh, they say they may be overly skeptical. They tend to be obsessive about cleanliness. They can be stingy, cheap ass. There it is, Zach. You're on notice. L Zach. If Black. there's any Virgos watching, please turn on. Please leave. We gotta go. So I guess I'll uh, I'll see you guys. Ab, you're gonna don't. hold the fort down, right? We need every. Yeah, just show me where the fuck the ones at. Okay, cool. See you guys. Okay, so wait. I'm a Cancer. That's my sign. So I'm gonna do. Now I'll do it by myself, uh, about myself. Bad traits about cancers. They're like, cancer is really can fuck your body up because he can't even be fatal. Not that one. <laughs> we'll get okay. cancer in the butthole. Okay, tell me if you guys think this, um, if this describes me. Moody. Cancers are emotional, sometimes too emotional. Mm. Paranoid. Mm, definitely. <laughs> Cancers want to know everything that's going on, so if they don't, they get extremely paranoid. F flighty. What does that mean? Flighty? You're Being a water things. sign, cancers yeah. are sometimes seen as flighty. Like short attention span. Oh, well, that's okay. true. You like to take an airplane somewhere? self pitying <laughs> Cancers don't take too kindly to criticism. Vindictive. Hmm. Could be. You could be described as vindictive. They nailed me on that. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> Got me good. Oh, shit. Is there a new Jimmy Lee drop? What the fuck? Did he even respond to you, Zach? Yeah, he, um... But not about that. Dude, Mason is out of control. How do I give my avatar histrionic personality disorder? You? <laughs> audio, audio, audio. <laughs> Jimmy Lee in the metaverse, <laughs> thanks to H3H3. <laughs> I don't is, think Jimmy is even aware of that. I'm just going to say, this is starting to feel like a Britney situation to me. Is, do we need a free Jimmy Lee? Is this, Mason just... He's in a gym <laughs> servitorship? <laughs> servitorship. Yo, but this guy's kind of a genius. How do I give my avatar histrionic personality disorder? That's what I'm saying. We just got to get Mason on the show. Forget Jimmy. Are you working on that, Zach? Mason? Yeah, absolutely. He hasn't responded to the idea, though. So, hmm. I feel like it might be easier just to call him after the show. Are we positive Mason is real? Yes. Who else is making that? Oh, I was living yeah. under the guise that Mason was possibly, like, Jimmy's artistic self. You know? Oh, like Steve Rossi? Like Dude, Steve those, Rossi are, is those are way yeah, too... Yeah, I think it's Those too, are way too good. There's too me. much Photoshop skill. Well, isn't Jimmy just reposting every DM he gets? So, like, people are sending It could be that there's a random poster that's just sending everything. I think mm. I think there's only one there's other person it could be, uh, and it's Cameron. This is no, mine is Cameron's Cameron right. style. No, 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 no. Yeah. Exactly. He's it's not love, his style. But, he's, yeah. he's underselling it. But, uh, uh, Cam, I love you, but he also said in the text, he's all, tell Cam thanks. Okay. I appreciate you he's, guys. he's just throwing me under the bus like he throws you guys under the bus. I'm, mm. that's not Why me. are you thanking you, Cameron? Yeah, where'd you get mm, that? Look at that. Yeah, look no at that post. Believes AB. Look at that. Yeah, don't believe AB for this one. <laughs> oh, you made yeah. it? No, look at that post and tell me that's my style. Come Wait, on, is it's not. No, but it's obviously not you want to do it in your style. I think you could switch it, it up. Was, if it was too good, we would know it's you. Yeah. Wait, Come Jimmy on. just said thank You're... you to Cam right now? Yeah, he's handicapping. Cameron, did you make that? No, I did not. Hand to God. He said, the first text I sent him, he responded, sure. Um, Zach, tell Cam thanks. Appreciate you guys helping. Well, ask him what he's thanking me for specifically. It, maybe it just might be because I was wearing the t-shirt earlier. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's okay. Probably, I was his model. That's why. Mm -hmm. But... You are sweating, no. though. I'm suspicious. No, I, I just don't want to... <laughs> 
I, I, I know you I wouldn't go behind it. your back and work on I that. I know. I yeah. know that's not your style, man. Yeah, thank you. Camly. You, you got a special touch, and it's not there. Well, that's a special touch, too. I don't want to throw whoever that was under the bus, but it yeah. ain't me. Oh, it's well, a special touch, all right. And I'm for the good. record, I don't actually think it's Cameron. I'm just saying. If it was anyone else, I'd guess Cam. Cameron so, is very nice. You guys know who Sydney Sweeney is? Yes. She's a big star from Euphoria. Yeah. Super popular show on HBO, which I'm a fan of. I watch it all. I like it. She was like a, the heartthrob, I guess. I don't know. One of them. One of them, yeah. I'll show you a picture. But a really kind of interesting story developed. I'm curious to get your guys' take. You probably recognize her. She's super, like, famous now. Here she is. So this is pretty interesting. So she's facing backlash over photos what's sweeney land you guys you guys know what that is sweeney land never been there i have some intel that you got somebody got so you guys know what sweeney land is <laughs> who the fuck just messaged that tell me what the oh, fu fuck you dan <laughs> no it wasn't dan who did you laugh? what is <laughs> sweeney is land ian? Yeah, what the fuck i don't know what it is ian I've noticed that Dan, you seem to go because there's no message in main chat. Yeah. Who did you out last? You just outed. Oh, Tim Dillon and AB. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah, so now are you go no, direct I, message? L Dan it Land was Dan Land Dan Land. You guys don't know who messaged me. I just want to know what Sweeney Land. Look at that man's face. I asked Dan. Dan, Damn, who knows? Dan whoever what? messaged you should explain it. Dan came in this morning. He's like, y'all trying to get his. Do I need pass, to Google Sweeney, Sweeney Land? Land? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're not. You're not gonna find anything on. on no. Sweeney Land po uh, shows up zero results. Uh, you're not gonna. You're not in. Because <laughs> I actually got in trouble for making a Sweeney Land joke on the show before. All right. That's the now, thing. I, I thought this was already. Okay. In the it, lore. I'll, I'll explain the Sweeney Land lore. Okay. Buckle up. You're gonna need seatbelts when you go to Sweeney Land. Okay. All right. <laughs> what happened was one day, some of the gentlemen in the office. We're talking about Euphoria and the show, and Sweeney may have came up, her great acting skills. And then someone else's girlfriend walked up, and we were like, oh, let's change, change the topic real quick. And that girl's like, I'm not stupid. Y'all were talking, we're like, no, we're talking about going to Disneyland next week. She's like, no, y'all were talking about Sweeney Land. <laughs> and then it just became a meme around the office, Sweeney Land. So whose girlfriend walked in on you guys? I. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. You guys were talking about her. <laughs> you guys were talking about her big jugs. <laughs> Is that what was going on? I'm, I'm all about uh, Sydney's brother Trent. I'm going to Trent Town. Trent Town. I'll join you there. Ooh. Trent Town. I got a one-way ticket to Trent Town. Was like, Trent Town. Yes. Wait, who's Trent Sweeney? Now I want a picture That's of him. That's bro. That's the brother You'll that see. posted. Yeah. Let me see a picture of this of this uh, Trent fella. Everyone's freaking out about. You going to Trent Town? Trent Town, yeah. All right. Is he a Trent age Town back? Rock? <laughs> he looks young. Is he 18? I, I don't know. I'm just, I Let's just like saying Trent Town. I think it's fun. I got the pass hopper. I can go to both. Bob Marley saying a lot about Trent Town. All right. So basically, apparently, you guys do know who Sidney Sweeney is. No idea. Do you guys even watch Euphoria? No. I've never watched it. But you guys know, everyone knows who Sidney yeah. Sweeney is. Thank you for the gifted, disturbing. <laughs> 20 gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Legend. Okay, so anyway, she threw a surprise party for her mom's 60th birthday in Idaho that was cowboy themed. Photos posted by Sweden's brother, Trent Town, <laughs> showed people wearing MAGA hats, parody MAGA hats printed with Make 60 great again. I love it! Along with somebody wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt, who I think is her dad. Okay, wait, this, sh okay, make 60 great again, okay. And then, uh, ye she, he said, yeehaw, happy 60th, mom. And then here's another pic. That's the one Sydney posted, and the guy in the middle is wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt. And I think that's her dad. I think I I read that that's her dad went to a fucking birthday party with the Blue Lives Matter shirt. That's pretty gnarly. 
That's like when I went to school in Ohio, people rocked that shit everywhere. What? That's yeah. so embarrassing. I was once, yeah, it's just, it's great. My friend had a Bernie sticker on her car and we went grocery shopping. We came back and her car was keyed. Wow. Just trying to get you health care, bro. Yeah. It's not that serious. But but like it's your wife's sixtieth birthday and you can't you can't fucking put on something that ain't a Blue Lives Matter shirt. But the, that one uh, threw me off a little bit. I'll the party like accessories were Republican themed too. Well Nan is wearing like the Confederate dress too. For real. And like the hats were like make sixty great again. That's definitely yeah. So anyway, so these picks went out and people are like, Wow, okay, well, they felt like she's coming out of the closet as a as a Trumpy. But then she posted a response to people freaking out, and she said this. And you guys tell me what you think. You guys, this is wild. An innocent celebration for my mom's milestone 60th birthday has turned into an absurd political statement. I can see this happening euphoria, her character. Uh, which is not the intention. Please stop making assumptions. Much love to everyone. <coughs> and happy birthday, mom. I don't think it's a stretch if you're wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt. No. But then, so she getting eviscerated in the comments. Assumptions your family are wearing MAGA hats and Blue Lives Matter shirts. They're racist. Time to face reality, sweetie. Just because you're white and famous doesn't mean you get to have it all. Oh my god. Suit's coming for the jugular. Whoa, mama. I thought she probably the best route would have been like, their beliefs don't reflect mine. It's my family. What are you going to do? I agree, but she didn't say that. But she's like, what are you guys talking about? Everyone wears these shirts where I'm from. Yeah. My whole I, family's always wearing these. I kind of felt like, because the photo she posted very like it very clearly that's a blue lives matter shirt and if you're about to post something especially when you have that big of a following i feel like you're extra careful about not like not wanting to i guess like boil down it's you don't want to hurt anyone or offend anyone more than and i feel like that's somewhat of a, a statement even if she says it wasn't like she definitely probably thought about it it's at least. possible that she I mean, this is if if this is the case that she doesn't know what a blue lives matter shirt is, then she's okay, pretty sure. dumb, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. Not everybody follows political talk that much, you know dumb. what I mean? Like blue lives matter. Such like a reoccurring image. But anyway, here's more, dude. She's getting eviscerated. Assumptions don't gaslight your fans. Uh, many are likely young progressive people based on the content of the show that gave you fame. That's true. Your family's obviously far right based on the Blue Lives Matter shirt and MAGA baby. This is her brother. Her other brother apparently posted. Uh, what the hell? Look at those cheeks. Forget about the hat. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, this is her brother with the, his daughter in a MAGA hat outside the White House. But the MAGA hat to me, it's like whatever. You know, he was president, fine. The Blue Lives Matter shirt, that's like fucking gnarly. Yeah. I kind of agree with Dan that she may not know what it is. I mean, when I was younger, I thought it was just for cops in general, just like just showing support to cops. I think it's possible she didn't know where it was. Yeah. I don't think she would have posted it. Yeah, but when yeah. she posted her, like, you guys, this is wild. I'm sure by that point she had been informed of what it is and she still didn't say right. anything. Right, that's a good point. So I don't know, I was like, mm, I don't know if people are overreacting, but like your dad wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt is pretty fucked up. I just don't know. It's pretty wild. Like, yeah, it sucks so much that in this day and age you're always making a statement, but like, you are. That's like wearing a Confederate Sorry. Yeah, shirt. it's... You know what I mean? There, are, There's blatant imagery that signals to me whether or not I want to be friends. Yes. Also, that's a good point. Euphoria is a, a lot about like trans people and uh, liberal identities. Has, yeah, like stuff, sex so. scenes and stuff too. Seeing Sydney Sweeney get jumped is beautiful. If you're white and unwilling to completely shame your parents 
for their conservative views, you're just as complicit and need to be escorted out. That's easier said than done. I mean, I'm lucky because my parents are very fucking lib. So I don't know what kind of situation that be in, but just don't, you know. Let's do a poll. Are people overreacting or... or what, I think what it's, are the it's, options? it's dumb to assume that no one's going to talk about it. What are the options if we do a poll here? People are overreacting or people are properly reacting. Yeah. Or underreacting. Underreacting? What more can they do? <laughs> burn her down. Burn her house down. The funniest thing from C uh, Sydney Sweeney shit is all the white people. We all have racist families. Like, hello. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this is Sydney Sweeney's grandma, I fear. Was that the uh, insurrectionist grandma? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You knew them supple white titties ain't coming from no liberal gene pool. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my god! Disgusting. That's that is disgusting. disgusting. Yeah, be be respectful. Toxic. That sounds like something that would be taking place at the Sweeney Land Circle. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, in all seriousness, no one was talking about her looks. I swear to God, we really weren't. Her lips. Her looks. You were talking about what a great actor. We were really just talking about the show, but, the, but we made it that? look suspicious the way we were all like, yeah. You guys were just like, yo, she's such a good actor. She's amazing. Yeah. Her acting skills are insane. Yeah, I'm like, dude, she's such a good actress. Those big ass titties don't even distract me. <laughs> no, I'm okay, kidding. Right, right. She got off. <laughs> totally That's what I'm totally kidding. She got off. <laughs> Shame on you guys. Oh, thank God Olivia left. You saved me with that laugh. <laughs> you knew them <laughs> Sydney Sweeney, if she didn't act on Euphoria, Fox News female starter pack, usually wears red, white, and blue. Exclusively looks only this and nothing else. Jesus. This is this shit always blows my mind though. Yeah. That this is the actual lineup on Fox News, man. You could have cloned these ladies and uh, Sydney Sweeney's brother looks like he watches all of her scenes. Oh my oh, god. No. Holy shit. Oh, no. Is, holy shit. Sydney Sweeney hiding in Nancy Pelosi's bathtub on January 6th. Oh, my goodness. That's the scene from the show, obviously. I, for one, am shocked that Sydney Sweeney, a blonde with huge titties that works for on classic cars for fun, has Republican parents. Uh... Sydney Sweeney's dad watching her get back shots from a black man in Euphoria? <laughs> Dude, chill. Wait, he, she was getting back shots? It was in like the, I think it was one of the first episodes, right? He was, there was shots of that? I, I mean, I didn't actually watch. No, not, nice, I don't think there's right? actual shots, it's just implied. <laughs> Jesus, this is vulgar. Sydney Sweeney, when you ask where her and her family were on January 6th, Sydney Sweeney's dad, after seeing her have sex with the black man in season one. Dude, this shit, bro, this shit is <laughs> insane. This is too much. This is, this is way too much. You guys got to chill, dude. <laughs> What's even the context? Of okay, okay. So oh, that's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. And uh, in, in WWF. It was something called NWA. It was New World Organization. Or mm. it was. Yeah. It, it didn't stand for what you think it. Oh, did. he didn't know NWA was. No, it just. It's. I'm not defending it. I'm just giving. No, you I know. I'm just saying it's Nitro, funny that he, it wasn't that's like, incredible. Nitro. He think of anything else besides NWA. It's incredible that somebody actually fished this image out to fit. I mean, it, well, I think it was. NWO. It's a meme. Uh, well, Hulk Hogan oh, already had his whole scandal because he there was right. that video of him yelling okay. the N word about his daughter's <laughs> right. boyfriend so, or whatever. So, I'm sorry, you're right. It's NWO. It's New World Order, I believe, or New World Order. No, Order. National Wrestling Alliance. Unless anyway. so, it was NWO. Uh, that's okay. 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 Sydney Sweeney compiling the guest list for her mom's birthday party. <laughs> Jesus. Absolutely. Let's, let's go to the uh, poll and see. Yeah, she got dragged so hard, man. Okay, interesting. So, 
Overreacting has a slight lead here. Reacting correctly, 46%. That's interesting. And 5% thinks that someone needs to go burn her fucking house down. 5% means everything. <laughs> I think boycotting her or her show for her family's beliefs aren't... I'm not boycotting. Like, what's, I'm what's that going to do? But I think discourse about it is... It's warranted. Yeah. I mean, listen, she, the Blue Lives Matter shirt is pretty charged, guys. It's, it's like, interesting. I want to know why. I want Love, I've been in your out. situation now. Have a green card. Happy to tell you my processes as you navigate with me the visa stuff, and maybe this info helps you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'll take any kind of information from anyone. I'm um, oh, very interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you what are you giggling about, Zach? Yo, everybody's super mad that Z Zach said NWA, not NWO. So I was just saying what the NWA wrestling thing stands for. What like I... you don't know shit about WWE. Oh, Shut the fuck up, okay, man. Okay. <laughs> chill. Chill. Like, Jesus. Chill, he chill. said NWA. I was just explaining what that was. Chill. Apparently that... NWO was Hogan's thing Forgive or whatever. Me. Forgive me. Sorry. Hey, by the way, wrestling fans, it's not real. Sorry if that's... Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Whoa! Whoa! Now he, come whoa. Now hey, really come on Jesus now, Dan. Christ. W. Dan. W. Dan. <laughs> no, Lan. <laughs> Having a Lan party later. <laughs> NWO song uh, straight yeah, out of Iowa. It was straight out of Hogan. Hogan was in NWO. Don't mess with the wrestling fans. For what? They're, they're, I'm a wrestling fan for life, dude. Cool. You know, I'm D Generation X, man. It's all me. Um, so, anyway... Epic. I, well, to answer your question, Ethan, I was laughing because <laughs> you're like, I'm still going to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just making a point that I'm not going to boycott her because of it. No, it was just yeah. funny how you said it. I'm sorry. I can't compete with that. <laughs> I, I, I can never be the golden boy. You say one joke, he's laughing for five minutes. Because it's, it's the timing of it. It's the timing of it. That it was I, mean, I don't get laughter like that from Zach all the time. <sighs> you need to laugh harder, AB. I, mean, I guess so. I'll keep going until you acknowledge it. Yeah, that's it. Just laugh more, <laughs> harder. <laughs> Maybe I'll love you as much as Zach. I'll work Ooh. On that. <laughs> uh, overreacting, forty-nine percent. So there you have it. Okay, interesting. Somewhat polarizing uh, issue there. The memes are really just right themselves, though. How long have we been going, Dan? Uh, two and a half hours. So we got the record heat wave in China and Pakistan and flooding in Pakistan. This shit is nuts, dude. Our planet is so fucked. Meanwhile, in China, uh, they're having like unprecedented heat wave. The whole country is just consumed with an unbelievable heat wave. Factories are shutting down um, because. Power stations are overloaded. Yeah, it's just the whole country is like shut down right now. Come with that heat. Here it is. Here's a size of it. Is it me or do you not really hear about this stuff in that much? Yeah. Like nothing. I don't necessarily agree. Because it seems like hmm. this stuff is pretty catastrophic, what's going on. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people on social media saying, why is nobody talking about this? Um, but... I mean, it it's all over mainstream news and stuff. Okay, I don't. It's, it's like it's just a weird it's phenomenon. I it, this is far from the only story, but you oftentimes see this where it's like nobody's talking about this thing, and it's like, I mean, if you just Pakistan floods, but why is I it mean, not trending articles, on Twitter, Dan? All like thirty nine minutes ago, New York Times. It's not trending ago, on Twitter, Dan. I didn't, right, and that's I the thing is, it. it's just like if the algorithm isn't putting it directly in front of your face all the time, then it, it people don't it, care. Nobody about cares. It. Yeah, nobody's talking about it. A lot but, of people in chat saying the first time they heard about it. Yeah, I think I think there's yeah, a lot uh, of people. So there is there. like a once in a fucking thousand year heat wave. It's a a large ridge of high pressure. Look at, I mean, I don't know what this map means, but I saw a good TikTok about it. Is that in here? The one I sent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to highlight it for me? Which which TikTok in particular? You sent a few, and they're There's all There's one here. about the Chinese heat wave. Uh, the Chinese heat wave. 
Oh, you're talking about the one with uh, where they show the rockets or whatever? This, uh, yeah, I, I just I just pulled the actual article that was from because the, I'll just read this. Yeah. Um, so there's a oh there's massive drought. Well, there was a video that showed like all the lake beds drying up and shit. Okay. Um, this article is old. Uh, th that is the article that th that TikTok was just reading that article. Yeah, I just I guess I just wanted the uh, videos. Okay. Yeah, this what the fuck? Yeah, this is old. All right, I'm going to read this. Hopefully we can find the videos. China is experiencing a drought and the worst heat wave ever. Record-setting drought on an 11-week heat wave are causing broad disruptions in China, a region that depends on dams for more than three-quarters of its electricity. Yeah, it's insane. You see, like, lake beds, rivers, fuck, they're just bone dry. Uh... More than 900 million people across 17 Chinese provinces are subjected to record-breaking conditions uh, with temperatures topping 40 Celsius nonstop. Factories owned by Foxconn, Toyota, and Volkswagen have curtailed production or closed lack, due to lack of power. Owners of electric cars are waiting overnight at charging stations. And in Chengdu, the capital of this... Uh, Sichuan province several neighborhoods went without electricity for more than 10 hours per day here we go thank you dan this is everyone needs to know what is happening in china right now for the last 70 days straight china have been experiencing the most extreme heat event in world history and for some reason no one is talking about it lakes and rivers have dried up crops have been killed factories have been closed and this heat wave is still raging on just for perspective this is the lake bed of china's largest freshwater source and this is the state of the third largest river in the world on top of that 66 of their other rivers have dried up completely. In the daytime, you're seeing temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius. Then at night, you're not even getting a break as it's hovering around a staggering 34 degrees. 113, bro? Said that there is nothing 113 for 13... What'd they say? 13 weeks straight? 11. 11 weeks? Mm -hmm. In the world's climatic history, which is even minimally comparable to what is happening in China right now. He says that it combines the most extreme intensity with the most extreme length with an incredibly huge area all at the same time. And the effects of something this extreme is going to affect us all. I mean, we saw the prices of food, fuel, and energy soar due to the situation. In yeah, so it's, it's like catastrophic. Uh... And then meanwhile, you look at China, dry getting absolutely brutalized by this heat wave and drought. And then meanwhile in Pakistan, they're being they're getting so much rain that like their the huge amounts Pakistan of the country are just being brutally insanely flooded. Is that this is what global climate change does. It just intensifies weather patterns, you know, where it's dry it gets drier. And where it's wet, it gets wetter. And it's just... It's crazy, man. I watched a lot of these. Reminding me of, like... And Sherry Armand... Some of the footage in this reminded me of, like, the tsunamis in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, here. This is the one I was talking about. Look at that. What the fuck? 800 per, almost 800 percent higher rain than usual in some areas of Pakistan. Wow. eight times the normal amount of rain this is like I, I just think it's incredible that people are still acting like this isn't a problem it's just incredible such fucking pieces of shit dude George, we got jordan peterson out here talking about what is climate anyway you know what does it mean, climate? Noted, no. noted climate scientist Jordan Peterson. The environment. A lot to say. What is the environment? That's everything. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, they're like fucking dying. A fact. It's getting flooded. In China, they're like, don't have water. Duty. I mean, here in LA, we're fucked too, man. I don't even remember the last time it rained here. I mean, it rained a. It rained a couple of days earlier this year, but not nearly enough. It wasn't like a wide stretch. I don't know, yeah. man. 
It, it's it's bad. It's bad. The climate change is bad, 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 bad. This is and this kind of stuff is just gonna happen more and more and more and more every year. Just just bad. <laughs> it's thank you, quartering at least <laughs> agree. Yeah, he agrees. Me. But the amount of fucking politicians in America that prioritize like fossil fuels or investments in their own money, like Joe Manchin, who's going to hell, um, is it's uh, well. Since we don't have a strike, I'll just say it. They need. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I looked at my meat oh. and I'm like, am I fast enough to grab it? <laughs> I, like, I felt everyone in the office just get tense real quick. There. <laughs> Dude. Gotcha. I was like, stand Got up. you guys good, boy. Nothing. I just I just hope David's okay, though. Oh, same. Yeah. True. It's so scary, man. Yeah, nothing makes me feel like more doomed. This is, this is horrifying. Yeah. It doesn't need to be happening to me to know that this is fucked up. It is happening in L.A., though. I don't know what we're going to do, because... Meanwhile, in L.A., I don't know if you guys saw the story. Maybe you guys can pull it up. The Kardashians, there's a water embargo yeah. here in L.A. You can only use a certain amount of water, because we're in a big old drought. And the Kardashians used, like, 300,000 gallons over the limit. There's a bunch of people in, in their neighborhood that got busted for using like hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. Sylvester Stallone too. And what's crazy about that is like, there's the money, whatever fees, nothing. Like they literally can waste a finite resource, life-saving resource, and there's no fucking accountability at all. It's incredible, isn't it? Kim Kardashian and several other celebrities are facing backlash after a report revealed how much they're exceeded their home water limits. Check this out. Uh, can we get to the point here, BuzzFeed? Among the list of celebrities in question were sisters Kim and Courtney, who have reportedly exceeded their limit by a combination of over 300,000 gallons. How much water is that? So to put it into context, uh, they've surpassed 150% of their mar uh, monthly water budgets at least four times since the agency declared a drought emergency. It's only 50% yeah, over? 150% over. Why do, that seems like they can use too much water. I just looked up the original LA Times article where this is all being sourced from. And, um, you know, the Kardashians are huge, so they're getting all the attention but I see that the worst uh, violator was uh, former NBA star Dwayne Wade that in May his property exceeded its water budget by, get this, 489,000 gallons. That was half a million <laughs> gallons how, of water. How much water is that? I'm just curious. Like, how much is half a million <laughs> gallons? I, a shitload? I, I, just, I, I don't know how to quantify I want a real it. world. Right, like what, what like what, body what, of water? What's a half a million gallon pool or something? I don't know. Sylvester Stallone used 230,000 230, excess gallons of water, more than 533% their allocated budget. This is the most like fuck the rich people I've, story I've heard in a long time. We're talking about a finite resource they're literally dumping. Here, this is a 500,000 uh, gallon wave pool. So like a whole wave pool. <laughs> yeah, I just looked it up. A, an average swimming pool is around 20,000 gallons of water. Are you fucking kidding so, me? So 500,000 divided by 20,000. It's 25 swimming pools worth oh of water. Oh my God. What were they even doing with that water? <laughs> this guy, they just have Austin McBroom in the pool all day, just <laughs> continuously <laughs> spilling it, going in circles. <laughs> You're constantly refreshing oh my it. God. I mean, huge lawns. Massive huge yards. Lawns. Okay. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, at this point, like, why it, grass shouldn't be allowed here in Southern California. It, yeah, it's it time. Uses, it, like, yeah. we should just say no more no more grass lawns no it's more not, grass lawns smoke the grass though it's not that important we should get rid of all of the fucking golf courses sorry to all of the golfers golf lovers out there but yeah golf is so bad yeah i mean are you fucking kidding me you're growing grass in the desert during a drought yeah it just you can't you can't do it here you can't 
It's just not realistic. 100,000 square foot water park might use 125,000 gallons of water per day. So well, they're running a, a whole water park for just, five days. They just have a fucking Hurricane Harbor. I mean, these people are fucked, man. It was Dwayne Wade that was using the 500? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Dwayne Wade was to, the highest. To be fair, he was on the Miami Heat. So he needs lots of water, eh? Zach. Oh. oh. Zach, oh. you, you look like eat. my favorite Greek restaurant. I saw that in a comment. That's not original. <laughs> Good one, man. Good Work catch. with me. Anyway, here's what's happening in Pakistan. Move to Pakistan. They got water. You can run your fucking sprinklers all day and night. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. One day. I don't think anyone, I think everyone got out safely, so I watched this. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, it did. I'm telling you, bro, this is crazy, but they get out. That's, I think a lot of people have uh, perished, as not surprisingly. Uh, yeah, oh. the official oh. <laughs> report said over a thousand. Yeah, I was about to say. No, this something. guy gets out, bro. Okay. Yeah. I watched this shit. This motherfucker lives. It Watch is. it. It's incredible. Close the trunk. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy lives, man. Because he said no grass in LA sounds like hell on earth. Why? Why do you need grass so bad? Well, hell on earth is when you can't, when you run out when of you, drinking water. Right, yeah. <laughs> so let's just make that a sacrifice like on, on the grass front. Maybe they were being sarcastic. Like, Yeah, maybe. Look at this. This man survived. This is straight out of a movie. So you want to come in my car? And... Close the trunk! <laughs> Pretty incredible. Uh, but, but this shit is so scary. Fucking A. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, apparently uh, in around 2010, Pakistan had really severe flooding like this as well. Um, but they're saying that they think that this is probably already worse, and it's not over yet. Wow. I saw, because um, these monsoons kind of happen in cycles, and there's already been far more monsoon downpours than in previous does, years. Does it happen every 10 years, though, or is that too frequent? I wonder? Look at this shit, dude. Well, I mean, it happens they, every year. They get oh. they get monsoons, in but like the monster monsoons. But well, I'm saying in 2010 they had another really severe season. See, yeah. But they think this is already worse and it's not over yet. Um, Look how much water! There. I mean, this is insane. Look at these people don't give a fuck, bro. They're on like a freeway overpass. This guy's got like a. I guess they're trying to save their whole livelihood. So right, I think they they probably do give. <laughs> yeah, they probably, probably give do. Them several fucks. Yeah, they do. They they care. Ugh. Scary, scary stuff. Yeah, I was mentioning this maybe last ep, but people are predicting that this could happen in LA, a mega flood like this. Yeah, yeah, I I saw that. It's not just LA, isn't it? Like all of like the western. Uh, oh. I think it's the whole West Coast. Wow. Could potentially have like a mega mega storm like this sometime. Time to go to Texas, baby. Well, they get it there too. I don't think you. Texas was. Remember Dallas? That yeah, the whole city was years like ago. Water. Remember? Thank, thank God, Jake Paul went and saved people with his jet ski. Right. He did. I forgot about that. Yeah, what? That. <laughs> That's so crazy. He was jet skiing around the neighborhood. Like, wow, this is so fucked up. Shit. I totally forgot <laughs> hey, about water, that. Water, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Yeah, it's scary. It's very scary, very sad. It's just crazy to see these two polar opposite events, catastrophes happening at the same time. In the it's, same region. It's fucked I mean, up, is, man. Pakistan and China aren't that far from each other. Right. Crazy. So scary. What are, what have we done? What we, do we do about it? What we have we really fucked it? up, man. Ow. Nothing. Nothing? Okay, yeah, we're good. Hey, hey, Howie, what do we do about all this? Nothing. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Well, good, because... Ow. That's what's happening. 
1,100 people have died since the monsoon began. Confirmed. 100 camps, they've been displaced. Officials estimate that more than 33 million Pakistanis, one in seven people, have been affected by the historic flooding. And Pakistan is not a super rich country. When these people lose their home and their houses and their neighborhood, they're, that's like... It's going to be very expensive That is rebuild. devastating, man. Yep. Devastating. This year's record monsoon is comparable to the devastating floods in, in Noah's Ark, it says. No, it didn't say that. It said uh, 2010. The deadliest in Pakistan's history. So, wow. Ten years later, we're already topping that. Yep. Almost half a century of cotton crops have been washed away. Vegetable, fruit, and rice fields have sustained significant damage as well. How about that, man? Nothing. Shout out to any of our fans in Pakistan. I saw someone say, why isn't H3 talked about Ukraine? We talked about it quite a bit in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm following it. I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, it's just, you know. Still going still on. Still going on. Putin. I want it to end. I want the fucking Russians to get the fuck out of there, but. They launched, like, a huge counteroffensive, apparently, I, re I heard today. Or yesterday, last night. The oh, I Ukrainians. Seen that. Um, yeah, it seems to have stagnated quite a bit in recent months just constant fighting happening in the east and everything i'm checking uh, right now to see if how many uh, audience members in pakistan we have i don't suspect that it will be pakistan that can, not many shit i've consistently been surprised by that would surprise me i, w I mean just i'm not gonna say it's gonna be a lot but let's see we are taking a uh, survey of our Pakistani uh, members. And showing top 50 results. Well, it's not on the top 50. Yeah, I could be surprised if a lot of but people from Pakistan watch this show. There is a way. Dan is still crunching numbers. In the meantime, our hearts and thoughts go out to the good people of China and Pakistan. Uh, thoughts and prayers, everybody. <laughs> And uh, let's burn some coal in their honor, huh? Shout out to the coal workers. Burn. 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 Check this out. This one is so nuts, dude. Look how the water just comes out of nowhere, too. All right, TikTok, leave me the fuck alone, bro. I swear to God, this app's going to be the end of me. In the last month, we had 11,000 people in Pakistan watch the show. 11,000 real ones over in Pakistan. Shout out to my kings and queens in Pakistan. Yes, sir. We love you. How about that? Let's send Jimmy Lee out there to do a set. <laughs> 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 Anywhere, oh we got to send Jimmy Lee out there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a world tour, go to Ukraine. Too. Well, you know how like com uh, comedians, they do tours for the troops to right, raise right. morale? That's Jimmy Lee yeah. for the... We'll send him to their, like, uh, the camps where everyone got displaced. Yeah. Like Bob right. Hope. Style. Hey! Yeah, yeah. I was just say modern-day Bob Hope. They found a weapon of mass Make destruction. Make them all feel just a little bit worse. I heard you guys are living in the street. Probably used to that. What? <laughs> Hey, you're not white. Hey, nice. <laughs> Looks like you you upgraded your houses. Nice. Don't shoot. <laughs> hey, where's your papers? Oh yeah, I'm in Pakistan. Here it is, though. These people were like picnicking. Dude, look how much fucking water. Look at the size of the rocks in here. Look at these rocks, dude. Yeah. I go, run! Run! They don't understand. Some of them don't really get it yet. Oh, yeah, here. Scary shit, dude. Let's burn some coal. 
Let's get Donald back in office so we can burn some coal. Yeehaw! Come on, Peggy. Dumps. The weather's taking out all of our enemies. We just gotta burn coal and let God sort them out. Ooh-wee! You telling me if I burn coal, the Chinese die of thirst? Woohoo! That's a W. A George W. Ooh-wee! Come on now, everybody light your trash on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all domestic Ooh. terrorists. You hear what's going down in China? There's a billion people that don't have water. Let's burn some coal. Hey, who wants to take a... <laughs> who wants to take a... Uh, a cruise? <laughs> you know cruises? <laughs> Bro, give me some cruise stats on pollution. Like, one cruise... Burns so much fuel on one voyage... It's astounding. You got. I need stats. Who wants to go on a cruise? For every time you take a cruise, you have a Big Mac on a cruise. A Chinese person dies of thirst. Yeah. It is estimated that cruise ships contribute 24 percent to the total solid waste generated by maritime traffic across the world. But I'm talking, so, so. That's just waste. You're, th you're that's probably just, talking about like carbon. Yeah, just carbon output. shit. That's just shit. But Based that's great. The, uh, in the total ocean, number bro. of about 25 million cruise ship passengers in 2017. Uh, right, pre-pandemic, because I'm sure it's dropped off a lot. It can be estimated that the average cruise ship passenger emits uh, 0.8 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent for their cruise. <coughs> Is the equivalent to a return air trip from London to Tokyo? Oh, I mean, people do that all the time too. But I mean, air travel is really bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, here, this is what I was looking for. One cruise ship emissions are the same as one million cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. so fucked up. <laughs> a cruise ship's emissions are the same as one million cars. That's Damn. gotta stop. Yeah. No, yeah. cruise ships are an abomination of God. They have to stay land. Cruises. <laughs> cruises. Stay out of the ocean. Literally. But look at this. It's like, look at look at this abomination we've built. I Unless mean, you're a mermaid or a fish, stay out of the ocean. You need yeah. to tap like a whole fucking new oil re uh, well to power this thing. Fucking a million cars. All of them are run on the dirtiest fuel you can imagine. It's heavy fuel oil, and it's quite toxic. <laughs> it's a residual of the petrol industry, and it contains a lot of dirty stuff. Cruise companies know what they are doing, and they know about the problems, but they still order new ships and don't install emission abatement systems. Okay, so part of the problem is that their engines are fucking disgusting, too. Love that for them. We should. We got it. We got to do a special report on this. I think you need to send us on a cruise, Ethan, so we can investigate this yeah. problem firsthand. One million cars, dude. Let's go. Yeehaw! Every time a cruise launches, 100,000 Chinese die of thirst. Damn. woo this. Maybe if, you know, it took one to, like, Cabo or something, we could we could get some insight. And Dan is not... You know you what? Not... I, I will... I'll, I'll do that. Sometime in the future, I will I will do that report. You, do, you make that guys. Right? We're trying to make a difference here. I right. need to report on it. I'll never go on a cruise, in a man. Hawaiian shirt you know, with you, a pina colada you, in my hand. Who the fuck goes on a cruise, man? You see, I mean, it's like a death trap. You're stuck it's on the ocean. Dude. There's diseases everywhere. I need to expose them. We got to answer these questions. You're asking really yeah. valuable questions right now, Ethan. Who is disgusting. it that goes on these cruises? You guys are disgusting. There's, I, there's only one way to find out. That's Shame on you. Some gumshoe reporting. One million we have cars. To go. <laughs> every time, every time we tap a new oil, ten grandmas die in a flood in Pakistan. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! America, come on now. Come on now. Woo! -hoo. Uncle Sam told me if we burn enough coal, we'll destroy China. We'll win the war. Woo! -hoo. Zach could still be a virgin if it weren't for cruise ships. <laughs> That's true.
Thank God every day for crew. There's always something. Yes. There's always a bright side. I do. Lo- I jokes aside, I, I I love cruises. Like you know, shoot me. Fuck the you know the missions are awful, but it's it's a good time, man. I've, it's ne- sound, I've it's never a, actually been on a cruise. It's, it's a either. fucking amazing time. <laughs> well, for you, you it seem was. like a cruise guy. I'm not gonna, and, I, and I mean that with pieces. <laughs> Dude, I dress guy. every day like I'm ready to go for. You a cruise. give me so a cruise. <laughs> like I'm ready to go. Man. Yeah, you're like prepared. You're dressed for a cruise. I have my go bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm All like, the shirts that blow in the wind just bag. right. I got a go bag. Someone asked me about um, private planes. How bad are private planes? I wonder too. Like. Really bad. I hope. I mean, like I said, I, it, although that figure is staggering, like a, the equivalent of a million cars for the cruise ship. I mean, that uh, per passenger comparison of it being the equivalent of a flight from Tokyo to the UK. I mean, that's happening all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like nonstop, all over the world. So I, I imagine the airline industry is worse than the cruise industry let's let's see let's see what which you should just stop talking shit or we're gonna be walking everywhere for the rest of <laughs> well, it's, today's it's, episode it sounds to me like the cruise people could improve their stats but they're not doing it all right let's look into the private jet people when, when I, which industry causes the most pollution i mean let's just let's just as cut far it. as transportation wow. just, just in general out. number one energy yeah i mean that makes sense obviously transportation 20% of carbon emissions. Agriculture. Okay, so it's transportation. Transportation's up there. But yeah, I mean, that includes trucks, cars. Well, it, said, it says everything. commercial freight is 40%. Passenger travel, 60%. Mm-hmm. Cruises is uh, 70%. No. no <laughs> the, the stats don't even add up. Um. This person says, what can we do? Limit international travel? That's not happening. Uh, Largest source of transportation-related greenhouse gas emissions include passenger cars, medium heavy-duty trucks, light-duty trucks, including SUVs, pickup trucks, minivans. Okay, well, so, sounds like cars are still a much bigger problem. But obviously, it's just about volume. There's way more cars at any given time than there are planes in the air. Well, don't look at me. I've got an electric car, so I'm a fucking saint. When oh, how does your electric car get power? You plug it in yeah, the it's wall. Re- Where does it's that re- power It's from? renewable, what did you say, bro. What did you say the number one emission was? Maybe it's nuclear. Maybe there's there's <laughs> way. Maybe it's uh, maybe I have a solar. Uh, maybe I have solar in my house. You don't know. If it was solar, then it would definitely be cleaner. But it's expensive do to do know, our part. Uh, like back in the day, mm-hmm. like electric uh, cars and old Russia. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's was that, uh, nuke, Wait, what is uh, nuclear plant that right, blew right, up? Right. Like, what's the name of that? Right, 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 right. You right, know right. what I'm talking about, right? The Shiv- <laughs> Shivola or some, Shivola. something. Shivola. When that thing blew up, mm-hmm. right? Like it was really, really like a lot of people died. <laughs> like, in, anyhow, I'm gonna tiptoe around this because I want to say this so bad, but it might get cut out. I don't know. But there is. A much larger <laughs> nuclear plant. Uh, oh God, I miss the in, show in the so Ukraine much. I know, right I love now. it. It's oh, the biggest one in Europe, basement. and there's fighting going on right there. And there's a live stream, and there's like a fire in the facility. And they said if it mm-hmm. blows up, it's going to be like ten times worse than the podcast. first one that we were talking about. He says the second one will be ten times worse than the initial Chernobyl. Hell yeah! Have you guys heard about no, the thing called uh, uh, ceviche? It happened in Russia. <laughs> there was that uh, nuke. Uh, nuclear plant that blew up. Like, what's the Fantastic, name of that? Fantastic, Zach. Fantastic. You know what I'm talking about, right? Sh- 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 Shivola or some- something? Chipotle? Please tell me. You're not that dumb. Um, there it is, though. Rip to fucking mom's basement, man. Rip. Wait, this is real? Oh, my God. They already posted this? Hmm. I guess so. And it's Jimmy, not me. Jimmy already posted camp. So he he responded to me. I guess he has a, another person, uh, working with him. There are uh, Mason? there Mason is people 2.0. fucking with Jimmy in our family. What's bit. the other guy's name? It's a it's a girl actually. What's oh. her name? Her name's Carly. Mm. Carly. Not a Carly. Jimily Camily. He didn't even tag me in this. Come on, Get, dude. He fucked you, dude. He I need fucked that you. Yeah. Jimmyware.shopify.com. You're doing him an old time favor, Cameron. Come time. on, he needs the money, Cam. 
Unlike you. He needs the money, Cam. He's a poor. Really he, needs he's, it. He's a, he's a retiree, for Christ's sake. He needs to get a new uh, tire for his <laughs> rolls. Well, let's just finish out the dock because we're we're basically cruising through. Uh, cruising through? Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch. Uh, yes, thank you, Zach. Uh, I acknowledge. I have to be like, yo. I acknowledge that a joke was made. Okay. So I didn't hear you laugh. Doesn't start talking about how the fuck. Like I didn't say You're shit. The people. The people the spoke. Had. I am a man of the people. Yeah, dude, I'd like a laugh. <laughs> I want you to be a man of Ethan. Okay? <laughs> Fuck the people. That's my job. All right. I'm the man of the people. You're the man I'm, of Ethan. I'm a man of Ethan. You understand? <laughs> Zach is a man of Ethan. <laughs> Zach is a man of Ethan. I am a man of Ethan. Thank you. That's, that, that, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I, one, uh, I guess I didn't know this. DBZ came out with a new movie. Yeah, DBZ one. Super, yeah. Is it a big deal? Yeah, it's in a lot of theaters. It's I think it made a good amount of money actually. Uh, let me check. Good reviews? Uh, yeah, people seem to like it. I got spoiled for me on TikTok and I'm pissed about it. There's a big spoiler. Yeah. Does Go Can Does Go Can die? Yeah, Go Go Can. <laughs> they, they, Goku fuses Go 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 Can. can. You, does go they make Go Can and then he dies. He you dies go, for real. Go 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 Can to no. the polls. Go Can <laughs> Go Can <laughs> dies for real. Day by day. This time, Gokin die for real, boy. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's a clip that I thought was pretty funny. Not the best timing. Like, the movie's just starting. He probably could have yeah. got some... Some collab love, you know. <laughs> the movie started, my dude. <laughs> dude, nobody is fucking. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. Brutal. Ninety-one percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, shout out. Yeah. DBZ. It made thirty million domestically. It's not a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. But oh. I made the most out of any DBZ film prior. Um, what was that? That was Greg Paul. Greg Paul. <laughs> Greg Paul? Yeah. I didn't know he knew how to do a Kameha. You know what the difference Have you seen the Kahe Mamame Kameha? Video? There was some kid talking about how and now in Fortnite. Kameha your mama. Yeah, they have the Kamehame wave in it now in Fortnite. And someone, some kid calls it the Kameha Mama or something like Kame, that. Kameha, I don't know how to say it. What the fuck is it? Kameha Mama? Kamehameha. Kamehameha? Come on, Kameha. How do you Maya? know that? How do you, how do you that? Come on, Mayor. Yeehaw. Creepy dude brags about not pulling out. Alrighty. Oh, God. Trigger warning, I guess. I don't know what. Just expect the worst of whatever. You know what the difference between me and my couch is? My couch pulls out. <laughs> you know what the difference between me and my couch is? My couch pulls oh, out. Fuck. <laughs> Why is this? You know what the difference? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> It's been a fun episode. We've had a great <laughs> Monday of shows. <laughs> what the fuck On was Wednesday, that? Uh, Wednesday we'll be back. On Friday, Pokemon <laughs> will be joining us. That's right. <sighs> I'm about to Kameha Meha that. <laughs> oh, I got actually. I got some. I'm about to Kameha Meha Elo. <laughs> right, right, oh. right, right, right. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro. Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We had a fun, it was a fun app, right? We had a good time. It was. It was good to have Zach back. Yeah, Welcome thank back, you. Zach. Thank Welcome you. Back, Zach. Zach. Same Welcome back, laughter Zach. back there. Thank you. Thank God. you. Woo! Thank you. Might be the greatest TikTok I've ever seen. I think that was off my For You page. It was. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to out you, Cam, but you have the best For You page. Thank you, far. yeah. I'm surprised that made it to the dock, actually. But, yeah, I'm glad, it's, I'm glad Zach It wasn't it. me. Who put that in there? I did. Yeah, it was AB. <laughs> it's, it's a welcome back gift to Zach, I guess. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank Zach you for it. welcoming me back with open arms. Did um your girl, uh, did Chantel respond to your dick down text? She is not. 
I think uh, she's she just might like, be in I'm... shock right now. Mm. <laughs> Lena, could I spirit bomb that ass tonight? <laughs> she, she saw it come in and bailed. She instant transmitted. All right, I guess off the DBZ. All right, well, we'll see you guys on Wednesday for another fantastic week of shows. Big bang. Four attack. episodes. Four. Yeah, Missed the opportunity. Big I, bang I attack. I was thinking of one. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Ethan. We're just thinking of Dragon Ball Z energy attacks that are sexual innuendos. Yeah. Should we do another meta segment this week? Sure. Yeah. Well, we're banned. All Again. Right. We got to get another set. Well, I ordered one, but. Uh, Is it here? Let me check. <laughs> we'll have to, we have to ban invade. They're going to get perma ban. I'm 100% sure they're going to be fully locked by next week. <laughs> yeah. Bro, they can brick our whole system. That's insane. Yes. That's, yeah, that's yeah. actually I true. want a refund. It's uh, so anti consumer. Right. Yo, what about this? Yo, I got a funny idea. Let's brick it within the return period. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> then return it for a refund. Well, I did that's order it on. Brand, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could try. <laughs> Um, it's, it's such a hassle to make a new account on that too. Like you have to have a Facebook oh account. Oh my god, it was so to, annoying. Like, yeah, mm. it's a whole process. But I, I'm down to brick it and return it because fuck them. I think we need to brick one every week. It's very expensive uh, gag. I can no, you return it, get a refund, get a new one. I can pick one up if we don't want to wait. It's economical. If I get banned though, we can return it. Ask you, be like, yo, what's the return policy on this? <laughs> I need straight <laughs> info. <You> can get... <laughs> Pull an IJ and insurance on it. Well, the new one is supposed to <laughs> arrive Wednesday. Which, so we can do Friday. Well, Friday we have Pokemon coming in. So it, oh shit. Yeah, it might not be till next week. So maybe next week, then we'll be unbanned. I uh, I just saying. Yeah, let's gonna... just wait till next week, anyways, because we want to wait till we have both, because then we can do get the three. cameraman thing. Yeah, we'll get, we need we just buy as many as we need and return them <laughs> after they get brick. I'm just saying, don't let Zucker win. We have, we win, Zuck. You lose. Yep. So gonna just... fucking single-handedly destroy the meta. <laughs> Tear. I'm. 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 I'm Agent Smith, bitch. I'm coming in. Hey, speaking of meta, how do we, we miss talking about? Uh, I guess maybe it wasn't funny enough to make the cut. But at the VMAs, the fucking Eminem board ape. What? Bullshit. I didn't see it in here. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What? What? I definitely. Well, it's all like copyrighted but you can show the i guess that's true we can't even really watch it that's probably why we skipped all right let's wrap it up guys thank you see you on wednesday god bless great show everybody have a good week see y'all wednesday give a shout out to my family ethan ab cam dan H hila ian lena olivia sam zach